Hello, hello, dear people. We are going to begin our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity Experience. And dearly hope that uh, technical issues do not follow us. I'll get to that <laughs> after things, but I already started, I already like the look of this. The models are very nice looking. Has a nice aesthetic for the first 3D Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. I wonder why it's called Gates to Infinity, though. I know, like, nothing about this game. Oh, hey! One of the, I think, is like Swords of Justice? I think they're called? I do not know. I've never played Generation 5. Is that Zorua? Already like this game. Granted, not playable. Not a starter or partner. But. He's a shopkeeper, apparently. And also Evolutions. Those are also great. Well, I guess that's a gate. No idea. And. Oh! Action cutscenes! I'm sorry, like, Rescue Team and Explorers, but that actually looked like a cutscene. Alright, a Super Ice Palace. Sparkly and pointy. A giant bridge. Very wide bridge. At least it feels like it for some reason. Interesting. Boop, boop, boop. I have no idea which screen is more important, so we'll go to that. I guess before we begin, I shall ramble about dear things, dear friends. First off, the world was evil because I have recorded through, because like, first off, disclaimer, this is being played on the Citra 3DS emulator because I am incapable of recording from direct hardware. It is the curse of life. Also kind of weird that there's like no music playing here. Not even the music box. Do, 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 do. That would be nice. Just the silence is unnerving. But yeah, unable to record physical hardware. Have to make do with with the emulator. Sadness, but oh well. And uh, there was more there, but now my brains went a bit. My brains went a bit. Oh yeah, because earlier today, I figured it was a smart thing to be like, oh, I'm going to make sure that like my setup is good make sure there's no technical issues so i like uh ran the emulator make sure that it shows up on obs guess what didn't show up on obs i have no idea why but something must have changed maybe a windows update or an obs update but uh the windows capture which i usually use for like emulators wasn't working properly and the only way to get it working properly is to then deal with an evil, vile Windows security measure where it's like, oh, there's a yellow border around your, like, window now because, oh, no, somebody is recording your screen. It's just like, yes, Windows, it is me. And there's no way to get rid of it. I think they might have added a way to get rid of it in Windows 11, but in Windows 10, you're stuck with it. You can't get rid of it. It is evil. It is meme. So I had to go digging. But luckily, I discovered a way because, like... I need, to, to, I need you to understand, it is an evil pain to get it to work, because originally, like how I get the DS screens to do this, where there's like uh, the two screens, but they're offset, it's not the full thing. The reason that I can do that is because I created uh, like multiple versions of like capturing the same thing to be able to do that. But... Then, uh, that w doesn't work for game capture, which is what I'm using now, until I discovered that I can just make, like, a, what is it called? A reference. So it's, like, referencing the initial capture, but I can, like, cut it up, make duplicates, and move it around. So, that's, that's how it works. Things are good. It just took me a bit to get it to function, and it's just a uh, bit. Technology. Life is pain. But anyways, everybody. Today, we shall begin playing Gates to Infinity, a mystery dungeon game that I only have experience with in terms of the demo. 
I played the demo years and years ago because, like, I like Mystery Dungeon. And then younger me, who was a terrible planner and really liked to abuse the basic attack of Explorers and Rescue Team because it leveled up with you, uh, that they do not level up with you in this one, if I remember correctly. Engage to Infinity going forward, the basic attack only does 5 damage, which begs the question why it exists, and that is probably why it was removed entirely in Rescue Team DX. Other things that I've heard is like, it's not as long as Explorers of Sky, which, understandable, Explorers of Sky had a Rescue Team for assets to begin with, and Explorers of Time and Darkness to build off of, so of course it's not gonna match that one. It's the third version using two games as a basis and they were jumping probably to an entirely new engine and everything. New assets, they had to make a bunch of stuff for this game. So I can understand there being like less things, you have a limited pool of selectable Pokemon at the beginning. I can accept that. <laughs> so basically, I'm here to give this game a fair shake. I will be disappointed by my basic tech being gutted. I will I'll be a, a understanding of the like, selection at the start being only a few. I mostly just want decent gameplay to carry good story and great characters. That is what I desire. So, yes, let us go into the gates of infinity and see what there is to be found. And then if it turns out I'm actually playing on the bottom screen, we'll swap things around. <laughs> but let's go! Oh, here's the music! I, really, I already like the, like, art style, even though it's, like, 3D models, the art style. But, uh, use spot passes if that exists. <laughs> uh, no, because it doesn't exist for me. But here's where the music was hiding. Nobody cares. New game! I was... Remember that? Hi. They up... I kind of miss... The classical look of the void of selection, but this is very nice. <laughs> also, I just wanted to note something interesting that I only realized after I beat Explorers and stopped streaming it, is in Rescue Team, this is actually a part of the plot. You actually, like, select those things. That is kind of you. It is kind of integrated with, like, Gardevoir and whatever higher power was getting her to do things. But in Explorers, the selection process, the, the quiz, completely separate. I wonder if this will actually be taken into account in this game. Uh, that, uh, that'll be interesting. Where? Where am I? Is this a dream? Am I... am I dreaming? Everyone asks that, but normally when you're having a dream, you won't ask that. Oh, what was that? I'm sure of it. That was definitely a voice. Someone is calling to me. You, you can now hear my voice. Might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need your... Help! Okay, uh, I believe that Pokemon's... Okay. Hydragon and Mana, I think? Already horrifying, I love it. What? What was that just now? What could it mean? Those Pokemon. Okay, interesting. Oh, hey, a silhouette! And there it is. A remix of the personality quiz music, even though there's no personality quiz here. And now there's something fuzzy. Huh? Wait, that blurry reflection, could that be me? Uh, what now? My reflection, it wavered and then shifted, almost as if it I changed somehow. And then we get to select our starter, which is indeed one of the things that people were disappointed by with this, like, version of the game. Because you only have five, and you there's no personality quiz. Luckily, later games, uh, Super and Rescue Team DX, have it be where you can do the quiz, and then, if you don't like what you got, can choose whichever Pokémon you want afterwards. But let us go through our options here. 
today? Oh, it's interesting. Apparently we start at level 7. I believe we start at level 5 in most other games. But of course we have Pikachu. There's no way. <laughs> Pikachu, I think, is a starter in every mainline mystery dungeon game. Level 7, 53 health. Not sure if those are good as, as stats or what, but he has Fake Out, Thundershock, Growl, and Tail Whip. Seems good. Tepig is a fire type. Ability Blaze. I have no idea what abilities are, even in the normal Pokemon games. I'm terrible, you see. <laughs> yeah, tackle, Ember, Tail Whip, and Covet. Then, of course, Oshawott. Oshawott. Oshawa. Oshawott's an adorable little guy. Tackle, Water Gun, Tail Whip, and Assurance. Also, I think it's interesting because I think this is the first time that we, like, begin with a full set of, like, attacks. I could swore that, like, in the past games, we only have, like, two or three. Oh, Akshu! Yeah! Mold Breaker! A dragon type! Hmm. A scratch, Assurance, le a Leer, and Focus Energy. So, like, <laughs> no dragon attacks, just, I believe, normal... I think Assurance is dark, Leer is, like, typeless, I think, and Focus Energy, I have no idea. And then Snivy! Tackle, Vine Whip, Leer, and Pursuit, with the ability of Overgrow. <laughs> Blaze increases Fire-type moves when HP is low. Eh. But, today, I have already, since there is no, like, personality quiz, and plus I was gonna cheese it if, it, if there was one, I already know the Pokemon that I am going to choose, and if you look at the thumbnail on YouTube, you probably know too. But I... <laughs> Pikachu, <laughs> YouTube chat is saying. Focus energy increases critical hit rate. Hmm. But I am going to be a Snivy, personally. Oh, hey, there's also like, there's like a map on the bottom screen. It, it's really nice looking. I like it. But I shall be a Snivy. I look like... I look like Snivy! Which does imply that we know what Pokémon are. Oh, this is a cool visual! I, I knew it! I really did turn into Snivy! Interesting that I just say Snivy, not a Snivy. <laughs> huh? What's that light? I don't know why, but... I feel as if the voice is calling for help. I feel like it came from there. Didn't that voice say something about saving the Pokemon world? And now darkness. Oh, gate! Huh, we're being... Ah! Alright, we just got blasted by a gate cannon and... Falling through the sky?! No! No wonder we couldn't turn it to a Pidgey. How do we survive this? Apparently we landed daintily from that sound effect. Oh, everything's spinning. Can't see. Hey! Are you okay? Come on, wake up! Come on! Someone's calling to me. But who could be? Uh, I can almost make out a figure. Is that... And now we get to choose from the remainder. And also, from the people... <laughs> That's right, you fall from the sky in this game. And here I thought Explorers of Sky was the last game we played. But, as people probably saw with the YouTube thumbnail, our partner is going to be Akshu. Because I just... I really like the look of their design. And also, they become Garch... What, no. I forget what you've become. I, I, I was going to say Garchomp because you're kind of like Generation 5's dragon type. Or like interesting, big old, I think, pseudo-legendary. And I like the look of them. Akshu is cute. If I wasn't choosing Axu as my partner, it would probably be Oshawa. But let's go. Or maybe Pikachu. This would be like the only Mystery Dungeon game where Pikachu is like an option for me. <laughs> but we're going to go Axu. Hexorus, right. Axu, right? I like the vibes already. Hey, you're awake! I have no idea what kind of voice to give you. You okay? What? A uh, pokemon A Pokemon is talking to me? You sure aren't hurt or anything? That's right. I got turned into a Pokemon, so... 
I guess I can understand other Pokemon now. Also, if I remember correctly, we were robbed by the Nintendo of America or whatever because in Japan, if I remember correctly, since there isn't like a uh blah, 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 there isn't the personality quiz to like dictate your gender or your partner's gender in uh, Japan, you could choose like you and your partner's gender, I think, for this game. But then they removed it for other territories, and it's just like, evil! We've been dis attacked! If anything, I would think explores the sky would make you fall out of the sky. Exactly. Does it hurt anywhere? Can you hear me? Really? <laughs> That's a relief! You know, you fell straight out of the sky, right? Out of the sky? We were screaming for our lives, dear me! Right. Yeah, I think... <laughs> okay, good. For a moment, I thought we were gonna get the patented instant flashback. <laughs> there was some kind of light. Then I think I fell for a long time. How long did... <laughs> that reminds me of Spy Kids, like, How long have we been falling? I don't know! My watch doesn't tell time! <laughs> Boy, are you lucky or what? You haven't got a single scratch after falling all that way. <laughs> That's fantastic. Again, I have no idea what voice to give you. Ax you. I'm Ax you, by the way. Oh, we don't get to name you? Oh, no. Or did I mess up? <laughs> what about you? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... My name is... My name is... Of course, we are always going to be me. This is going to be Neon the Snivy. And this music, I gotta say, really nice music playing here. Also, I do like that the circle is like, hey, go down. Is your name? Yes. Neon? Your name's Neon, huh? Well, nice to meet you. But where'd you come from, Neon? I am a human. <laughs> With the snivy body, I just kind of turn away. Like I'm too prim and proper for this Axew. Well, I mean, I know you came from the sky just now. But I haven't seen you around here before. If I was around here before, how would I get in the sky? So I was asking where you're originally from, where your home is. Of course, it's pretty mysterious how you fell out of the sky like that. Also... Even though I do miss the pixelated pixel art portraits, these expression portrait boxes are still very nice. It's kind of, I think, like, maybe traced over 3D, but I don't know. Could just be a filtered 3D. But you can tell me, you can't tell me you actually live up there, right? <sighs> well, I suppose not. But even if I see I came from the other side of the sky... It's not like anyone would believe me, not in anyone normal. The other side of the sky is space, me. <laughs> Do you not know what space is? <laughs> Axie was known as the Tusk Pokemon because it's little tusks. It's little adorable tusks. Every time I see a character fall, Deltarune or Undertale enters my mind. For me, I don't know. I guess maybe uh, Skyward Sword, but I've never even played that game. I need to play more Zelda games. If there was at least some sort of hole in the sky or something, then maybe. But I don't want to lie, either. I guess I'll just go ahead and spill the beans. I like that little gesturing animation. What? You're actually a human? And you got turned into a Pokemon because some voice was crying for help? So you fell straight out of the human world and into this one? I guess it was too much to hope that anyone would believe me. All right, got it. I believe you. I believe your story, Neon. Wh what? Just like that? I found any proof or anything? Sure, I know it's a pretty fantastic story to believe. Humans don't exist anywhere except in fairy tales, or that's what I always thought. And it seems totally impossible that a human could just turn into a Pokemon. That happened in the anime. People, and not to mention Yamask. Phantom. So many possibilities. And fall out of the sky one day. But you know what I think? 
There are lots of mysteries in the world. But the truth is that maybe those things aren't really all that mysterious at all. Maybe they're just things I don't know about yet. And that's why they seem mysterious. Well, that's pretty open-minded. That's why I want to learn all about all kinds of things and see all kinds of things. I want to meet mythical Pokemon that no one else has ever seen. I want to explore the ancient ruins and deep caves. And more than anything, I want to have an adventure. That's right, I want to be an adventurer. And that's exactly why I traveled all the way here to... Ah! I forgot! The most important meeting of my life! I've got to get there ASAP, but the path ahead looks really tough. It'll be hard to make it through alone. Ah, what should I do? Uh, that's it. Neon, please, uh, will you come with me on my on the path ahead? Uh, my journey is so close to being over, and everything I want is so near. Uh, but if I don't hurry, I might not make it in time. I'm really not sure if I'll be able to make it through on my own. God, there's no more time to explain. Just come with me, okay? <laughs> what? It's just push me along. Ooh. Interesting. And the music. Broken paths. Interesting. All right, you're showing me things, game. Interesting, interesting. Wow, it's beautiful. It's just bursting with nature here. <laughs> I don't really nitpick, but the emotions could also be expressed on the models. I think they are to a degree. Maybe not totally, but there are, like, maybe the simple models are, or, like, emotions are reflected there as well. I'm just wondering, have we assumed gender as yet? I have no idea. We'll just go with the vibes. <laughs> Just bursting with nature here. This way, Neon! Come on, hurry! The music is very boppin'. Huh? The bridge has collapsed! What am I gonna do? How am I supposed to get there now? Ah. No idea why I made that sound. That's not really what the, that that's not the proper emotion. Looks like there's no choice but to try going through there. Let's go, Neon. I'm still trying to feel, feel out the voices here. Ragged Mountain Western Cave. <laughs> the classic. Get moving and look for the stairs. Use those to move. Hold B while moving, and you can dash. Ooh, I like the... I like this! Hey, you cannot select this yet. You can look around the entire room you're in. That's actually pretty nice. I want to experience that. That's cool. It's very cool! I like this already. <laughs> we must build! Quick save. Others. Underfoot, yeah, items. Moves. All right, cool. Ah, so, uh, like, uh, shortcuts are already activated. And here I can be like, hey, don't use things. I want to look at your moves. All right. Ooh, pow. <laughs> uh, interesting. Accuracy. Sure shot. Very interesting. Assurance. It does... Aha, I was right. Is a dark move. It does more damage if the enemy's HP is down to half or lower. Which could come uh, very nice in uh, boss fights. But uh, let's go to others. Options. Ooh. Options. I love them. Only six, sadly. I think we'll go with that. Grids. I think I'll turn that on. Maybe see. I guess, uh, fast for now. Far off allies. It changes whether or not you'll see far off allies. I guess keep it on self. Damage turn, sure. Top screen map. Hmm. Interesting. But so far, interesting. Status. 
<laughs> tactics meeting, but I can't do that yet. Okay. On oh, the map at the bottom looks cool. Adventure hint. While holding L, press those buttons to select the move you'd like to use. Ow. I'll like you. Maybe come help me. Uh, let's uh, schmiggity schmack. It's a little different from what I'm used to. I do like that the rooms aren't like fully boxy. Like the the, the rooms aren't full. Dang it! Uh, I, I I wish I could do tactics meeting. Fine, we'll annihilate you. Get out of here. This is the tutorial dungeon. I just need to be careful. Maybe I should come down here and uh, take your focus energy off just for now so that you don't waste it all. Ooh, hint, when you use your moves in combat, they will grow and level just like Pokemon levels? Oh, that's cool. Cool if true, I hope it is. That's actually a cool idea. And again, I like the feeling of the, uh... Oh, an Orenberry! This is an Orenberry. Eat it to restore a large amount of HP. To eat one, press X to open the menu, and then select it from the items list. Hint, even without an Orenberry, your HP will gradually recover simply by walking. You can also hold B and A to recover your HP while standing in place. But be careful, you can be attacked while doing this. I am enjoying the vibes. What's Vine Whip? I like the vibes of all this. Like, the menu at the top as well. You can use the directional pad or... What is it called? Just the little wibbly wobbly while holding Y to change directions. <coughs> Excuse me. While moving... <coughs> Excuse me again. Leg. I don't know why I sneeze in twos. Look at the water! I like it! I like the aesthetic that's going on here. It makes it really feel like this is just like... Meandering paths of like happenstance. Built, like just happened to come about. I like it. Bless you twice. Thank you very much. Take the stairs to move on to the next floor. You won't be able to return, so make sure you don't have any unfinished business. The music, the aesthetic, the feel, I'm liking it. Kind of weird that we're inside the stair, but let's go. I am vibing with this. And we get to walk around! <gasps> Dungeons aren't just dungeons anymore! Investigate sparkling objects by pressing A. Something might happen. <laughs> Those steps have no support. <laughs> okay, we just annihilate that tree. But yeah, uh, most of the mystery dungeon steps don't. I can just push them around a little bit. This is cool! This is cool, I like it! I like it a lot! Are you ready to go on ahead? I am very happy that they're taking advantage of things here. If you or Axew gets defeated, you won't be able to continue the adventure. So be careful! If you get into a situation where you're unable to continue your adventure, you may end up losing some of your items. You missed? How dare die! I do wish that there was, like, a little animation of, like, the enemy Pokemon fainting, but, uh, that's a nitpick. Also might feel like the, uh... Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I am vibin'.
Do 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 do. I'm liking this. I'm really digging this. Like instead of just having like sheer walls, like they could have done, and that like uh, that's hard to get across. In like even like the uh, buh buh buh, in rescue team and explorers, even though they did their best to like make the walls look interesting and not just like sheer, like vertical and horizontal lines. Just look at this. This is cool. I like it so much. This is cool. I'm liking this. Oh, it feels like oh, this is cool. Doo -doo -doo. Up, dead end. Sadness. I don't know why younger me was put off by the demo. This is actually very good. Granted, I am happy to have waited this long to get... Oh, okay, that makes more sense, like the bottom stairs. <laughs> I do like this. Adventure hint. You can learn more about the game rules by browsing the other section. Press X to open the menu and then select how to play your dungeon hints from the other section. Da da da. Ah, hello, getting a raid. A rainy raid on Twitch. Right now, we are experiencing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, ex not Explorers, Explorers of Gates, what? Gates to Infinity for the first time, and I am digging it. This is great. See, now that makes more sense. We're not in the stair, we get on the stair. The music, the, the the vibes, the aesthetic, it's just so nice. Did a natural disaster happen, though? Knocked some rocks down. All right, we finally made it to the other side. We're almost there now. Let's give it our all. Da-da-da-da. I like it. The water looks nice. Has a nice vibe to it, too. This is super cool. Are you ready to go ahead? Uh, I guess so. From the raid, what's up, Neon? I just got done playing Gotham Knights. Figured where you, uh, with your spot-on Joker impression, you would be fitting a raid. So you were fighting, well, not Gotham Knights. Joker doesn't exist in Gotham Knights. It does he? He's dead, right? <laughs> Neon successfully made it through the Ragged Mountain Eastern Entrance. Very nice. I like this so far. I like it. Save and continue. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I kind of want an expansion for Explorers of Sky. Uh, that's the player doing Guildmaster duties. Maybe. <laughs> You've had a great adventure today. You should rest before you play more. It was my first adventure game. It's the tutorial. Yeah, like, if Explorers ever gets, like, remastered or remade for, like, Switch or Switch 2, that'd be interesting if they expanded on it even more. Ha! We did it! I'm finally here. I finally made it! I couldn't have done it without you, Neon. I really owe you one. Now I've got to hurry. I'm pretty sure the letter said it was this way. And I just follow along. That was a neat little fountain. All right, trees in a desert in a rocky place. Barren winds. And a quagsire. All right. Th thank goodness. You're still here. Phew. Um, I'm quagsire. Hmm. I'm the one who manages the land around here. Is it you then? Hmm? You're in Maxu? Yep, that's me. Mm hmm, I thought so. Thanks for coming so far, hmm? It seems that waiting here was hmm, worth it after all. What is this? Like a. Like. <laughs> like a, a drug deal? <laughs> this feels weird. <laughs> Well, I guess while you're in the desert for a shady drug deal, remember to stay hydrated. I've just been standing around here by myself. Hmm? 
but it was so boring that I was mm, thinking of heading home soon. But now that you're here, mm, are you really sure about this? It's really mm, desolate, and there's nothing here. And worst of all, the mystery dungeons are really taking over this area. Hmm? You can't count on anything going as expected in this kind of place. Hmm? I know. That's exactly what I'm hoping for, in fact. I brought the, the pokey with me. Hmm, you sure you won't regret this? Then here you go, your mm, deed. At least he's not like uh, a horrible, terrible, like, uh, a, like real estate agent. He is like... Uh, are you absolutely certain that you uh, want this land? It's uh, not the greatest. <laughs> he gave you an out, Axe, you. <laughs> Quagsire's dealing in rare candies, I bet. Axe, you bought the land from Quagsire. This land now belongs to you. Hmm? You can do whatever you'd like with it. It even comes with a bridge. Yeah! All right! From this day forth, this is gonna be my paradise! Uh, sorry for getting all worked up by myself. Uh, you remember how I said I want to learn all the kinds of things and see all kinds of things? To be an adventurer, right? This right here is the starting point for making all that come true. My dream is to make a paradise for us all. A Pokemon paradise. A Pokemon paradise? Yeah. I'm gonna make this kind of a paradise you could only dream about. The mystery dungeons are spreading around here. You never know what might happen on land like this. There are a lot of Pokemon who hate that kind of uncertainty, but to me, it just means an exciting adventure could sprout up at any time. I'm going to have all kinds of adventures and find lots of other Pokemon like me. And then when we work hard together, we'll be able to live the kind of life that'll really make you feel alive. A real paradise. That's my dream. I've been saving up all my pokey just for that, and now I've found the perfect land. What kind of job did you even have before? Well, it really, it's more like everywhere else was just too expensive. So I didn't really have much of a choice. But this is going to be the start of all my dreams. Wow, so Axu had those kinds of big dreams, huh? It sure is nice to have a dream. My dream is maybe saving that pink elephant from that dragon. Just hearing him talk about it enough is to make me excited, too. So, Neon, what are you going to do now? Do you have somewhere to go? I just got here from the sky! <laughs> Listen, if you don't have anywhere to go, why not consider helping me out? How about you help me make my paradise, Neon? What? There's no way I can do it all by myself, so I've been planning to get more Pokemon to join me over time anyway. Uh, what do you think, Neon? Will you help me out? Uh, what should I do? I'm still kind of worried about the cry for help that I heard, but it's not like I have any more clues about what it mean meant now. And I don't have anywhere else to go. So then, maybe I really should just stay with Axu for the time being? If I'm lucky, maybe along the way... I'll figure out what it is I should do. All right? Really? You really gonna help me out? Yes! Thanks, Neon! We're gonna be great friends! So yeah, it does seem like the models have some basic emotions, but only certain ones, like major emotional expressions. We'll be a great team! So, Neon, now that we're officially friends and all, if you want to give me a nickname, well, that'd be okay. What do you think? You got something? I actually don't. What do I call you? Huh. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I know what I'll call you. Well, do I want to call him that? Hmm. Ah, da, da, da. I'm trying to think, because my brain is leaning towards Lance, because, haha, dragon. And it, I think it would fit. I'm trying to think. Hmm. 
yeah, that, that, mm. but the thing is, I want him to have his own name. Not just a name after a Pokemon guy that we haven't seen in forever. I'm trying to think. No Iris, or Drayden. Hmm. Oh, actually. Maybe I call you. Where's the proper lettering? It's in alphabetical order. I don't know why I got that wicky wiki wagga. But I think I'll call you Locke. Maybe. Yeah, I think, hmm. Decision decisions. I like Locke. We're gonna go with Locke. Or do I... Uh, the second guessing... Choice... Uh, yeah, the choice paralysis annihilates my brain. I hate it. <laughs> I just want to think of a name for my friend. What? Yeah, I... Okay, I'm, I'm, if, I'm, if I don't accept it now, I'm just gonna be sitting here all day. Hello, Locke. You are now Locke. Is your partner's name Locke? Lock? All right then, lock it is. It's locked in. Call me Lock from now on. That's it. I'm gonna have everyone else call me that from now on too. Did you just not have a name up until now? Does nobody have a name? Like, <laughs> did you have no friends before now to nickname you? Then again, you kind of uprooted your life to move all the way here to a desolate wasteland to build a paradise. Maybe you don't have any friends. I'm definitely gonna make my dreams come true. Just you watch! Sheesh, when Locke acts ha that happy, I can't help feeling like I made the right choice. But still, I can't believe I got turned into an actual Pokemon. <laughs> and then Locke is just dancing in the background. It all started when I heard that voice in my dream. And the next thing I noticed, my body had been transformed. That's right. The pink elephant and the dragon. <laughs> Again, horrifying. I wonder if that poor Pokemon I heard is alright. How could I forget her? I've got to help her somehow, but... How? Uh, all I have now are questions without answers. I don't even know for sure if I came to this world to save that Pokemon. And besides... Staying here with Locke... That sure seems like it'll lead to a lot of adventures. I feel like something great is waiting in store for me. Neon, let's do our best together. I know there's nothing here now, but this is it. This is the place. This is going to be our paradise. Oh, that, that motif blip. Ooh. A crystal bag. Pokemon mystery dungeon. Gates to infinity! I like that that's kind of like an old-timey title card. <laughs> Discover a Magna Gate has been unlocked. If I remember correctly, that's just like a, hey, generate... Blah, blah, blah. Generate a random dungeon. Access this feature from the main menu. Well, from the main menu, never mind. I would like to save my adventure. Ooh, look at that moon. Wow. Night sure comes fast around here, huh? And since this is a desert, it's gonna get fucking cold. And I'm a grass type. There's nothing at all here. I mean, uh, of course there's not, but, well, I guess we'll just have to camp out for the night. With uh, random straw. Bleh. It's pretty cold, huh? What, you want to snuggle on your first night? I guess the first thing we need to do is build a house. That's true. If it started raining now, we'd be in a real mess. I'd like to be able to keep out the rain, rain and wind, at least. Let's think about building a house tomorrow, yeah? Sleep tight, Neon. <laughs> One of my chat being a good old Professor Oak. Are you a male or female? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know the vibes yet. 
Quagsire just busting on into our land. Morning. I came to see how you two were surviving. Hmm? Did you sleep well last night? Hmm? Morning, Quagsire. And no, not really. It was really chill. It was a little chilly. Turns out it's pretty tough to stay out of the wind when you've got no walls. So we're thinking we'd, that we'd really like to build a house, but we don't really know where to start. Hmm, well, if it's a house you're after, I think there should be a carpenter or three somewhere in Post Town. Hmm? Huh, really? Mm-hmm. If you ask them, they should be able to build you a house. Hmm? Post Town is just a um, quick walk from here. Want to check it out? Hmm? Yeah. Let's go, Neon. Let's find a carpenter to build us a house. <laughs> I wonder if Quagsire gets a kickback. <laughs> this way? Hmm? It sure is annoyingly imp- I mean, refreshingly empty around him. How dare you? You sold us this place! This way, <laughs> Rain's gonna be like, showtime! <laughs> so this is what it's like to feel homeless. A lot of traveling Pokemon come along this highway here, hmm? And so Post Town was built as a um, rest stop for all those Pokemon. Post Town is just this way, hmm? Well, let's go check it out, hmm? Again, I'm liking the vibes here. Of course, a Kecleon. A single Kecleon, unless that extends out. I can't believe it. One of the Kecleon brothers is murdered. <laughs> I trust Quagsire with my life. <laughs> here we are, hmm? Mm-hmm. This is Post Town. And of course, the tradition of building a place with your, <laughs> with your face is uh, <laughs> continuing strong in Post Town. At least Kecleon's is more of like an aesthetic rather than literally his head. Wow, I would have expected it to be quieter somehow, but it's surprisingly lively here, isn't it? Mm-hmm, this town is quite famous for having the best water. So visiting Pokemon all drink their fill and wash away their fatigue, hmm? I suppose that's why everyone tends to gather here, hmm? There are a lot of, hmm, shops and things, too. And the vibe, like, the music is very nice. That strange box over there is a deposit box, hmm? You can deposit your items in Poke there and then hmm, take them out later. I can't believe it! They got rid of the MILF! Mama Kank is gone! No! Not even like a Persian or... How old was his name? A Duskull bank? Just a random box. I'm, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss. Mama Kang is gone. <laughs> and there's the general store. I do like that you can see items behind him. That's cool. You can buy all kinds of items there, hmm? There's also the inn and its restaurant, hmm, all kinds of places. You should feel free to use any of the shops you'd like, hmm? What are you doing? You just hit me on purpose, didn't you? That hurt you, off! All I did was brush you with my beak. What's the big deal? Don't go throwing a fit over every little bump. Hmm! Hmm! Oh no, I guess tensions are rising. <laughs> Fellas, theory time. There's a Ramparados, but he's a fossil Pokemon. But since they only talk to other Pokemon, there would be no way to revive them. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon takes place in the past, confirmed. Well, granted, considering that presumably this Pokemon world is the same as Rescue Team and Explorers, in Rescue Team... There were, like, uh, friend areas that implied humans existed before, so it's entirely possible that Ramperdos are, like, far-off extinct Pokémon that were brought back and uh, thrived into this new world. Hmm. <laughs> they removed Mama Kangaskhan, how dare. Exactly! Oh, in the cutscene there was an Azumarill buying it from Kecleon. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> nice little reference. Wow, they seem to be a bit touchy. And none of the other Pokemon even tried to step in. Everyone's a bit on edge these days, hmm? 
It seems the strife between Pokemon just mm, keeps getting growing worse. From what I mm, hear, it seems that everyone's nerves are a bit strained. Some Pokemon even think it's because of the spread of the mystery dungeons. Mm. Hmm, but who can really say for sure? You're right. Relationships between Pokemon are definitely sour these days. More and more Pokemon are only looking out for themselves. Did you see how no one even tried to stop that fight just now? There's just no trust between Pokemon anymore. I wish everyone would be friendlier, but... The world does seem a bit dark these days, hmm. Though I wish it weren't. Well, never mind all that, hmm. You two needed um, a carpenter, right? I'll go have a look around, hmm. While I do that, you two can check out the town. Come back when you're a bit mm, richer. All right. Thanks, Quagsire. I need to nail down a voice for you. Advice Bulletin. Whenever you're in Post Town or in Paradise, you'll be able to save a record of your adventure from the X menu. When you want to do that, just open the menu and save. Oh, we can talk. I want to talk to my friend. Ah. Quagsire has gone off to find a carpenter for us, so I guess we ought to use this time to look around town, huh? Do do it are a lot of things we cannot just select. Ba 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 ba. Holy fuck, that Morshu impression is scarily accurate. I don't even know who Morshu is! Welcome to Kecleon Shop. How can I help you? I have no money. I only have orange berries. Thanks for your business. Come back anytime. Sorry. Uh, you think I should have stepped in to stop that fight? Well, I wouldn't want to get dragged into it now, would I? That's why everyone pretends not to see a thing. I guess fair enough. I do love that I can kind of shove him around. Oh, uh, Morshu is the come back when you're a little mm, richer. Bombs, lamp oil, rope, they're all yours, my friend, if you have the uh, the right rupees. It's been a long time since I heard that little diddly dee. Fights like that happen all the time around here. The name's Rampardos, the box buster. You got a treasure box for me? I'll have it open in a jiffy. Or I would, but the shop's actually closed right now. I busted it up a bit too much. Sorry about that. Understandable. I'd not say nay to a wee gift, but then whoever would. The wrapping sure is pretty on friends' gifts, isn't it? I'll bet it would be great to receive one. I have no friends. I'm never going to get a friend gift. This is the gift shop. Here I make gifts just how my customers like them. Uh, but right now, I'm out of material for wrapping paper, so I can't open up shop. I'm sure I'll be able to open again soon later. So I'm sorry, but uh, could you wait until then? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Zatu was replaced. At least it was <laughs> more reasonable, kind of like how... Uh, what was his name? Gulpin was replaced by Electivire. Hmm, you two. Good timing. Those two timber over there are the carpenter's mm, apprentices. You should ask them about your house, hmm? Mm, lads? Where's your master? What? Our master? Do you mean the boss? If you're looking for the boss, he's inside. Your boss is the carpenter, right? Uh, we want to build a house. Could you take us to meet your boss? We certainly can. Come on, then. Don't dawdle or nothing. I need to give everybody good voices. Um, looks good. Good luck with the carpenter, hmm? I'll be waiting out here, hmm? Yeah, thanks! I need to nail down these voices! So, where's your boss? Is that him? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? That ain't the boss! In that- What world does that look like a carpenter, huh? That over there's Swanner! She owns this place. She's in charge. You'll see our boss just over there! That's our boss, Gerda. Gerda! 
listen up. The boss has a bit of a vicious temper. Mind your manners. Turner! What? Yeah. What do you two want? Uh, hey, boss. See, the, these folks here. Hey, what's this? You got some kind of job for me? Yeah, we want to build a house. I think we can do it, but we need a carpenter. We heard you were a carpenter, so that's why we're here. Um, we would, of course, be paying you for your help. We really need a place to live. Please, won't you help us build our home? Just silence. <laughs> the art style is nice, but I'm just a sucker for pixel art. Indeed. That's why I wonder what, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game done up in that uh, Octopath Traveler style, 2.5D, like, pixel art that's, like, standing upright with 3D environments would look like. So, uh, w what do you think, boss? Complete silence. Uh, b boss Get her! Ugh! Alright, I'll do it. Really? Yeah, really. I'm a carpenter, ain't I? We craftsmen stick to our word. The voices are all over the place, damn it. Thank you. Alright, Neon. We're gonna build a house. We're gonna need Pokey to build a house, right? We don't have any yet, but we're gonna work hard to save some up. Ma, no, don't need any Pokey. I want you to bring me something else instead. There's this place nearby called Stony Cave. Go all the way to the deepest part and get me some of the gems you'll find there. Gems? Yeah, that's right. They're blue stones. Got it. We're gonna need materials to build you that house. I'll need those blue gems to swap for building supplies at the lumberyard. You'll spot the gems if you go far enough into Stony Cave. Uh, let me see. Yeah, about five little ones should do it, I'd say. If you go and get me some gems, I can trade them for whatever you need. Then we can build you your little house. All right. We just need to get you five blue gems, right? Let's go, Neon. That seems pretty understandable. Thanks, Girder. Thanks, Timber. All right, Girder with a attitude. Well, like, they say a temper, but he seems reasonable enough. <laughs> These British voices are amazing. I don't know. I'm just going with whatever comes to mind. How'd it go, hmm? Things are looking up. The carpenter accepted our offer. If we'll just go to Stony Cave and get him the gems he wants, he'll help us build a house. Mm-hmm. Sounds peachy, hmm? You can reach Stony Cave from the crossroads up ahead, hmm? Great. Then we'll be off at once. Uh, um... Huh? Timber? What is it? Uh... Was there something you needed to tell us? N no it's nothing. Yeah, forget it. Just go and get those gyms already. Oh, great. I think he's going to double cross us somehow. We will, thanks. We'll be back in no time. Well, now I, now I have paranoia. You can reach Stony K from this here crossroads. Hmm? There's only one thing to remember. Hmm, I think you already know it, but Stony Cave is hmm, a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon? I keep hearing those words, but... Mysterious things are always happening in areas like this. Like, every time you go into one, its layout will probably change. Or an underground passage will lead to some place you'd never expect. But there are sure to be adventurers waiting for you in those kinds of mysterious places. And that was the idea that made me want to buy land here. It sure does sound fun when you put it like that, hmm? Sometimes you can find rare treasure. And then everything's coming up roses, hmm? And then, out of nowhere, you might get mm, viciously attacked by wild Pokemon. They're very dangerous places, so do be careful, hmm? I see. This job may not be quite as easy as I'd thought. Then again, building a house isn't easy either. Might as well at least try your best, hmm? You know, Quagsire, you do fully understand the danger that we're about to face, right? Don't you think you could summon up a bit more genuine concern? Hmm, nope. Never bothered to be concerned about anything in my life. Why start now, hmm? I wish I was Quagsire. And besides... Besides? I somehow get the feeling that you two can make it through anything together. I like Quagsire. 
He's nice. With me and my best buddy, we're gonna get through anything. It's rather reassuring, hmm? Even if it's based on absolutely nothing at all. Honestly, Quagsire, you are just... Well, we do want to have a house, so we've just got to try anyway. Neon, before we head out, let's make sure we know what we're doing. Girder wants us to go all the way into Stony Cave and get five blue gems. That's what he said, right? Yeah? All right, then let's go! We're definitely going to get some of those blue gems and build ourselves a house! Oh, the DLC, you can now buy us. You can now go to Pika Land. You can now go to Axe Rock, Mount Tepid, Treat Road, Pokey Forest, Kecleon Bazaar, Mount Travel, Skill Treasury, Ultimate Wilds, Strongest Trail, tons of places. <laughs> Silas felt betrayed. No, no, no. Snivy. Snivy me's best buddy is Axew. It's Lock. Zorua, me's best buddy, is Silas. You can reach Stony Cave from here, hmm? Try to do your best, hmm? Neon, let's go to Stony Cave! We should be able to reach Co Stony Cave from the crossroads. Mystery... <laughs> they just point up, yeah, if you go that way, you'll find <laughs> mystery dungeons. Well, I guess let's head to dungeons. Where will you go? Interesting. Bunch of DLC places. Oh, hey, it actually gives information. Pokey Forest. SOS is not available. Enemies evolve. Enemies evolve? What? Hunger, no. Huh. Interesting. What about Stony Cave, then? No information about there. Maybe because we haven't been there. Interesting. Enemies evolve. Well, Stony Cave. Go to Stony Cave? Yes. All right, let's go. We're gonna get those blue gems. Stony Cave, basement one. Ooh, music, and then no music, and then music again. I like it. Some moves can even hit enemies who are far away. Enemy Pokemon will use these too, so don't let your guard down. If you want to find out the range of one of your moves, press X to open the menu. Then choose the move you want to check. From the moves list, the information about it will appear in the upper screen. Oh, this is a bopping music track! Yeah, just everything's in front. Yep, apparently this game had DLC. Managed to grab it. Oh, the, the guy just died. Okay. <laughs> and everybody's picking up money. I need that money. That money's for me. Again, I love the vibes of this place. Ooh, what's this? Drink a max elixir to fully recover the power point for all of your moves. It's a good idea to keep a few on hand. PB is a value that shows how many times a move can be used. How dare you strike at me? I strike right back. I say I strike right back! I'm gonna die. Pokey works as money in this world. You can use it to buy things at shops. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, there's the exit, but we don't want to leave yet. Also, I just realized, do we not have hunger yet? You bastard. I'll vine with you. And then I'll tackle you. But interesting, I wonder if we just don't have hunger. Then again, it was mentioned hunger no. So I wonder if it's now just like a random dungeon condition. How dare you. I smack you. And then you die. Yeah, the music is nice. The vibes, immaculate. The music, great. The gameplay so far feels like... This looks so different. Adventure hint. This is a wonder. I forgot. I was going to do a bit with this. I think. 
this is a wonder tile. If your stats have been lowered by moves such as Growl or Tail Whip, stepping on this will return them to normal. But watch out! Any raised stats will also be returned to normal. Interesting. Kind of cruel, but interesting. I also find it amusing that this place is just immediately so much bigger. Hey, Joltek. Huh. Adventure hint. With the stuck status, the Pokemon can't move. But it can still use items and moves. The status will go away after a while. How dare you hurt my friend. Die. Huh. Not very, not very effective. Died. Avoid all of the dumb thing, common thing, then in late game dungeon, grab it, going to the final boss, adventure hint! <laughs> that would be funny. That would be hilarious. You avoid just a normal thing throughout the entire game, suddenly, surprise! <laughs> you get tutorialed. Hello, Woobat. Die. How dare I miss? Oh, that's a sweet sound. Lock grew to level eight. Lock's HP went up by three. Attack went up by two. Defense went up by two. Special attack went up by two. Special defense went up by two. Do -do 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 -do. How come I didn't level up too? <laughs> we were the same level. Does Lock just supersede me in power? Oh, now we're confused. With the confused status, you won't be able to control the direction in which you walk or use moves. The status will go away after a while, but if you get into trouble, try curing the status with an item. Okay, neat that there's like an actual like confused wobble animation. Please. Quit hitting me. This is evil. Why does the confusion apply confusion so well? That is not how I wanted to level up. Neon grew to level 8. Yeah, I am very much enjoying this. It's very fun. I would like to go on. I love the part where Locke said, It's gating time! And mysteried all over the dungeon to infinity. If you don't move, neither will any enemies in the area. This means you have plenty of time to think about your next action. <gasps> it's a bandana? You and your party members can hold useful items like scarves and specks by selecting the item and choosing give. The Pokemon would be affected by the item as long as it's held. A power band, hmm? It boosts attack. Me. It'd be amazing if it actually showed up on the model, but I understand why not. Because then they'd have to program that in for every single one. I wonder if these Drillbur have anything to do with the Drillbur we saw in the opening. This is just some wonderful music. How dare you spider web me. And string shot me. And what? Eat a heal seed to cure any and all bad status conditions. This amazing item can cure even the confute status and the poison status. Ba -da 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 -da. This is just a big dungeon for a starter dungeon. Seriously. It feels deep. Why are there so many ways to go? It's a starter dungeon! Maybe Timber sent us to die. Oh, hey! Yeah, Clink. Interesting. <laughs> Colonel Clink. Nah, uh, not very effective. Darn you. As much as I love Pokemon Mr. Dungeon, I wouldn't be too mad if there was a small change to the combat. 
yeah. Like, overall, the, like, gameplay is, like, not my least favorite, but it's, like, the gameplay is, like, very good as a vehicle for, like, the story, characters, and world. Which is why I keep saying, if they made a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that was, like, a 3D hack-and-slash beat-em-up, where you still do dungeon crawling, it's just the, the combat was overhauled, would not complain. <laughs> Zoro and Neon might be annoyed that the hunger is optional in this. All those times that they ruined my apples. And I had to worry about food. I had to eat, like, bare, like, st st stupid seeds that made me confused. And they don't have to worry about it up here in this land. The effects are very cool. <laughs> I like, I kind of like the idea that each, like, continent in the Mystery Dungeon world has their own quirks. So, like, the rescue team, like, continent has to worry about HMs while they don't on Explorer's continent. And then same here, like, they don't have to worry much about hunger on this continent, but they do in the Explorer's continent. Now, nah, OG Mystery Dungeon is super angry. First easy TMs, then optional hunger. EV Neon, well, I guess Umbreon Neon now. Very angry. You can decide what moves you don't want your party members to use. For example, you can make them use only damaging moves like Tackle. Adventure Hint! Open the menu and select Moves. Find a move you don't want your party member to use and turn it off. Moves without a check will not be used by your party member. How dare you do this to me. Ba -da 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 but I'm just, I'm loving the vibes. The vibes are immaculate right now. I, I shudder when they're gonna throw, like, traps at me. What the fuck? But, what'd you do to my power band? It said something about my power band, and I didn't catch it. I'm gonna go to the log. Message log. Oh, the Frisk ability showed my power band. Huh. I don't know why, but it's like, what did you do to me? My basic attack is your pound. Huh? There is a red door. One door's red and the other's blue? Huh. That's interesting. And I guess that's... What are you? All right. I'm just I'm loving the music. No idea what that red door was. Complete anomaly. But sure, whatever. Also, I like the background on the bottom screen. It's like the sky, but there's kind of like the gate texture kind of up and down. And again, like the leaves. I'm like, I, this is just so charming. I love this game. The charm is off the, just off the chain. I'm loving it. Look, it's the gate to infinity. I, uh, how, how dare my chat be funnier than me. It's a gate, we're in Gates to Infinity, and I didn't make the funny joke. Don't confuse me. Fine whip! I'm just I'm loving the feeling of this game! Spiderweb all you want, you're still gonna die. I headbutt you, Spider-Man. <laughs> Is in the stuck status, in stuck status, stuck status, and then I just keep moving. You leave my friend alone, die. I like, like, the... Like, visual effects and, like, the, the sound effects. They're pretty nice. There's, like, everything in this game. Love it. 
Not another drill, burr. I'll just bully you to death. You do no damage to me. Oh no. Two damage. Shame it's one of the most hated in the series. I think it's mostly because, like, all the limitations of it being the first game after Explorers and being the first, like, uh, 3DS one is that why it kind of ran into a bunch of issues with the fans. But so far, I think it's pretty good. Like, we might run into issues of, like, maybe it'll be super short and that'll be disappointing. But, like, so long as the characters and story are good. That's all I really care about, personally. Personally, I am here for story and character. If it can make me cry, it is a very good Mystery Dungeon game. That is how I rate Mystery Dungeon games. Did it make me cry? Then it is good. It can still be pretty decent, even without making me cry. But... We'll have to wait and see. Let's go on. One thing I headcanon in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is that when a Pokemon are angry, uh, the talking is mix of angry or upset version of the Pokemon's cry. That would be interesting. I think I've read some, uh, fan fiction where it is, like, oh, if you go in, like, uh, all the Pokemon in the dungeon are actual, like, rabid, wild Pokemon. And if you spend too much time in a dungeon or something, you'll slowly become feral yourself. Or there's, like, dungeon sickness. So they might start saying their Pokemon name, like... Pikachu, if they get very upset. It's like, there's lots of ways to view things. <laughs> yeah, I am vibing with this so far. I can understand why P there would be, like, immediate backlash. Like, oh, there's not as many Pokemon to choose from when that's, like, been a big thing in the past two games, like Sky and Rescue Team. But then there's like, uh, like, uh, who knows? We'll have to slowly get more in. But personally, I am liking it so far. And again, for me, it all comes down to story, story, story. That's how I really judge things. So we need to wait to get to the story aspect before I can truly judge you. Yo, I played this game this year, too. This game is awesome. Well, I'm happy that there's more people who seem to really like this game, because I'm liking what I'm playing so far. We've been going for about an hour, and I hope to enjoy this. I hope to enjoy all the Mystery Dungeon games. You need to die. No confusion for you. I get double confused by a Woobat never again. And apparently, like, hunger is mostly optional through this. I'm happy. But yeah, so far, graphics have been really nice. Very uh, aesthetically pleasing. The music has been very nice. It's just like... Very fun time so far. Haha, <laughs> Drillber, I'm not afraid of you. You can tell somebody's personality depending on how they view Pokemon speech. One, saying their name. Two, making normal animal noises. Three, whatever the hell the game sound is. And then four, Mystery Dungeon normal words. <laughs> Gates is the first standalone. That's also true. Because Rescue Team was split into two, but that one made kind of sense because of, uh... Like, oh, it's like the send-off between the... Game Boy Advance, and then the DS, so it's kind of like... At least that one was kind of justified, in a way. Then Explorers of Time and Darkness is kind of weird. They're like, why? <laughs> and then they made a third version, which at least that, like, uh, made it more justified to me. Created Explorers of Sky, very fun. But yeah, Gates is the first standalone one, which is interesting. I guess they figured, eh, it's a spin-off, just make it a normal standalone. No need to milk our customers that hard. And then it kicked off the tradition of 
Singulas, Super, and Rescue, uh, Rescue Team DX. I'm going to be stocking up on power points, elixirs. Okay, good, you're not going after them. <laughs> Let's let Sleeping Joltix fly. No need for murder. We probably have a boss fight coming up. I like this story over Super. I don't know if anyone could agree. I've yet to play Super, so I do not know. We'll have to wait and see. The storytelling is really good, not gonna lie. It's a great writing, I tell you. I touched this game when I was a teen, and I wasn't interested, but I dive into it a year, th this year. That's good. Uh, it's just funny that Mystery Dungeon is just like, it just talks to everybody. As much as I miss the pixel art when this came out, I like the characters and story well enough. Like it better than Super on that front. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to see what... <laughs> it's funny because I've always heard... Well, I guess I've always heard that Gates to Infinity is the weakest mystery dungeon and Super's above it, but I guess story-wise, it could be that, like, GTI has a better story, but Super might have better gameplay or something. I don't know. Again, it's been years since I played the little bit of Super that I played. <laughs> Phew, we've come pretty far in. Hey, over there! Something shining! Come on, Neon! Well, they are indeed blue crystals. Look! These must be the blue gems! We need five. These have got to be the gems Girder was talking about. This does seem to be the end of the cave, after all. It looks like all we need to do is bring some of these stones back with us, huh? Yeah, let's pick some out and head back, why don't we? Oh, that's cute. Nice. I got five here. Neon, let's hurry back to town. Once we do, we'll have Gerda get started on our house. Yeah, except to Timber, we're saying something. Some kind of... So I'm kind of worried. I'm worried about what's going to happen. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would like to save my adventure. You've had a great adventure today. You should rest before you play more. You don't tell me what to do. Come on, Neon. Locke sure is excited. He must be thrilled to think he'll finally have his own home. Oh, they actually put... <laughs> uh, they actually gendered my partner. <laughs> because they took away the ability to gender your partner intentionally from the Japanese version, Sadness. I wonder if they'll gender me then. I can understand that kind of feeling. I lost my home. Hmm. We're here! I don't know if you saw the chat message, but I got the ground on. Oh yeah, wasn't it like over three or four times odds on how what it technically? <laughs> Horrifying. I'm never gonna shiny hunt unless I really, really like one single Pokemon. We're here. We're back in Post Town. Let's go find Gerda right away! I already know you're gonna be stealing from me. I already know you're gonna be stealing from me. I just know it. I know right now you're gonna be a thief. A thief in the night. A thief in the day. Oof! Hey, watch it! I'm sorry. I'm just really in a hurry. But please excuse me. Or maybe he stole from somebody else. Then again, he intended, very conveniently bumped into me. Man, what? A, that surprised me. What was that all about? Oh, never mind. Let's go, Neon. We're gonna go. We're gonna say we have him. And then we're gonna not. Oh, my anxiety is per-rocking right now. Oh, you got him, the Blue James. We did. There's some pretty fierce enemies in that cave, but we still did it. Good for you. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll build you that house of yours. Yes! Well, once you give me the gems, that is. Of course. Huh? What is it? They're gone! The blue gems are... What? That's so weird. I know I was carrying them on the way here. No matter how many times I check, they're not here. Good! <laughs> You're messing with me, right? You never even went to get him, did you? Then I guess I can't be you in your house, though, can I? We really did get the blue gems, though! You've gotta believe us! Where are they, then? 
<laughs> I guess you'd better just go get some more. Good luck. That's... So let me guess, that's his... his, uh, scheme. He has a scraffy pickpocket anybody that goes to get the gyms for him. Or scraggy. I still don't get it. I'm sure I had them when we came back, you know? That is odd. I know I saw Locke pick up the blue gems in that cave, and Locke was walking in front of me the whole way home. If he dropped the gems, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed. Mm, it's pretty hard to swallow, huh? But wandering, if, wandering about it isn't helping either. We'll just have to go and get some more blue gems. Let's see, what voice did I give you? Huh? You want to know if a blue-colored stone fell here? Nah, I haven't seen anything like that. Wait, a blue gem, you say? Could it be the ones in Stony Cave? That's amazing! If something like that was lying around, I'd have scooped it up in a flash! Well, that speaks to you, uh, don't it? Oh, hey! <laughs> Aren't these, like, isn't the evolution of these guys, like, locked behind, like, the 3DS games? Oh, hey, we didn't come over here. Ah, we don't know anything about no humans. Literally evolved from a dead human Pokemon. The Pokemon who runs the shop over there is Cafagrius. Good man, is he ever nuts about gold bars? If you take uh, take him some, he'll trade you items for Pokey for it. That's how I heard it anyway. But I think he's still setting up shops, so you'll have to hold on to your gold for now. Like, do you have any? I've never even seen a real gold bar. I wonder if we're supposed to find any, hmm? Interesting. Uh Hello? Welcome, I'm your guide to downloadable content. Would you like to return to the main menu and purchase some downloadable content? No. <laughs> Just in-universe? Buy shit! Ooh. I like that we can, like, walk around. No swimming allowed, no jumping or frolic in the water. But what if I'm a po- like a water type? How dare you discriminate? Huh? What do you want? Me? Name's Sandile. I'm a part of the infamous Crocorok gang. You slugs better not mess with us. I came all the way here today because the boss told me to, but... Hey, chumps, do either of you know where I can find me as a deposit box? Wasn't it right around here? You're making me out to be a patsy. I honestly feel sad for him. When you come all the way up here, the air seems a little clearer, does it not? I'm Mianfu, a martial artist. I am traveling in an effort to train myself and improve my skills. I often stop by Post Town. I'm sure we will meet again. I do kind of find it interesting that we haven't, like, joined a, like, society yet. <laughs> Simisir was voted the least popular Pokemon of all time. Sucks to be you, Simisir. Hmm, huh? That Pokemon. Isn't that the Pokemon who... That's it! Locke might have dropped the gyms when we ran into him before! Maybe if we talk to that Pokemon, he'll know something. Hmm? What is it, Neon? What? You want to ask that Pokemon we just saw if he knows anything? Okay! If we really did drop the blue gyms on our way here to town, that Pokemon might have found them! If we waste time, we're gonna lose sight of them! Neon, pick up those feet! Wait! Please, wait right there! Huh? I wondered who was yelling, but I sure wasn't expecting you, Timber. Sorry, though, no time to talk. Uh, we're in a bit of a hurry right now. We know. You're going after Scraggy, aren't you? Scraggy? You mean that Pokemon who just left? I mean, he did look like a Scraggy bitch, but still. It's called Scraggy? Yeah, of course he is. And if you want to know where he's going, well, we can tell you that. What? Scraggy is headed for Hazy Pass. You'll find him if you go there. Yeah, so you little punks had better... I mean, we uh, we think you should go. Uh, go after Scraggy and take back what was stolen from you. Just go get your blue gems back already. <laughs> you mean our blue gems were stolen? It happened before you two came to the inn. When Scraggy bumped into you from behind, he took your blue gems. What? B but you... How could you... The two of you possibly know that? B we... We're sorry, all right? We didn't mean nothing by it! But wait! Wait! Ah, they're long gone. 
I like that Timber kind of have a conscience. <laughs> I'm not really sure what just happened here, but the Timber told us to go get our get back our blue gems, and that they were stolen when that scraggy guy ran into us. I also find it kind of funny. It's just like they went into it was like, so you punks. It was like, what's that? Is it all part of a charade? <laughs> when Scraggy ran into us, hardly seems like there was enough time to steal them in that second, though. He might have a move. Yeah, but the Timber seemed pretty serious about it. Well, Neon, we might as well go after Scraggy and see what he has to say. They said he was headed someplace called Hazy Pass. I'm guessing we can probably get there from the crossroads. Might as well start there and see. Yeah, yeah. My brain, my body, revolting against me. Might as well start there and see. Let's go. Besides, we haven't talked to the the dudes, the three the, the three elemental monkeys. If you have too many items, store some in the deposit box. Not only can you store all kinds of items, but you can also deposit Pokey. Do do do. We can carry twenty four items. Withdraw a recommended set of items from the items you've deposited. All right, that's cool. Withdraw treasure boxes. That's a cool quality of life feature. I guess I'll put in one berry. That's it. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm really feeling it. One of my questions is, what is a war crime in this universe? Who knows? Man, water type Pokemon would just be set to waterboard people. We don't have enough money for a Reviver Seed. We're gonna die! We don't have enough money for a Power Band. We're gonna die! Like forcing a hostage to eat Doom Seeds, that I think would just be a normal crime. We're adventurers, see? The three of us are on a journey together. This is my first time visiting, but Post Town really is a great town. No matter how nice a town looks, fiends are everywhere, so keep your guard up. The water in this town sure is the best. Speaking of that, remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Stay hydrated. Kill God. Well, let's go beat up Scraggy. We'll kill him! We want our house built. Where will you go? Let us go to Hazy Pass. Go and kick a Scraggy's ass. I knew it! We can get to Hazy Pass from here! All right! Now all we have to do is make it through the path ahead and catch up to Scraggy! My Pokémon was an Oshawa and Pikachu, to think of it. It's just the trailer Pokémon. <laughs> That's how it be sometimes. Ooh! Puzzle time! Looks like it's gonna be puzzle time. <laughs> hydrate or dehydrate. <laughs> As you steal back what is yours, remember to stay hydrated. Exactly. <laughs> Just jump point. So not really puzzle time, but uh, go click button time. Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> Random combat. Vine whip. We got ambushed. I thought it was just like, oh, it's just a dude. Is not dude. <laughs> the Dungeon Lands are the most big brain thing they've ever done in this game. It is very cool. It gives like a... What's the word? It's like It, it feels like it builds upon the world almost. And I just think that's cool. There's a Pokemon over here. So you're gonna die, Arduino! <laughs> Still kind of disappointed that, like, Leer and stuff doesn't affect the... Like, uh... Bubble Ball. I wish that I could do tactics. How dare you tail whip me. Be gone. And I missed. I am a Satan. Stop it! Die! 73 damage. Go to hell. No one loves you. Not items. I want to go to... Maybe move now. Ah, status. I 
can't even do tactics. Maybe I need to go to you specifically. Status condition weakened. Night. I can't tell you to not go after enemies. Go leave him alone. Vine whip. Yeah, it's really great world building. Hopefully they can do more in other Mystery Dungeon games. Hopefully. Once again, I am hoping that next year there's at least some kind of Mystery Dungeon announcement. Because next year is uh, the 20th anniversary of Mystery Dungeon in general. You need to... Hear, yes, I know, game. You are the one making me miss a lot, you bastard. Your HP is getting low. Eat an orange berry to restore some HP. If you have one, press X to bring up the menu and select one from the list. I run. Let me run! If you don't have an orange berry, hang out behind your party members and let them take care of enemies for you. Or use items that disable your enemies. I flee. That the Dwino was a bastard. We need to be careful. I probably could have annihilated him in one go, but yeah. I think I was distracted. I think I was saying, I am hoping for, like, a, a Mystery Dungeon announcement next year for the 20th anniversary of Mystery Dungeon. Since 25 will be exactly 20 years since Rescue Team Red and Blue came out. And I hope they do something cool. At the same time, entirely possible that I'm just putting on the clown wig. <laughs> Adino's really strong. <laughs> Classical music turning to clown music. Exactly. I will say, uh, in terms of gameplay, it is one of the coolest aspects. In terms of story, well, it's still enjoyable uh, for the first time. Me. I'm just hoping that, like... Uh, like, that's the thing. I like a good story. And hopefully the story is decent enough. Again, I hope it breaks me. I hope it makes me cry. That is what I long after a mystery dungeon. I want it to tear apart my heart. Die. Lock grew. I don't know why my brain is bleh. Lock grew to level nine. Huzzah. <laughs> Would they make uh, Explorers of Sky, I guess? Maybe. But at the same time, it would be cool if they made, like, a new mystery dungeon game. But who knows? Would be anything. Why are you so powerful? Why are you a god? And now I leveled up. <laughs> it's not Cresselia going, you should disappear now. Not sure if you'll ever play it, but if you do, I think you'll like Scarlet and Violet's story. I might get to it someday. It's just harder to get around to. Which is, even though it's hilarious, because that's an easier game to capture for me, because I have a capture card for consoles. <laughs> it made me cry. I finished it last month. I hope it makes me cry, because uh, when I first played Red Res- or, uh, yeah, Red Rescue Team, it made me cry. And it came very- I got teary-eyed playing it again on stream last year. And then, uh, I played Explorers of Sky this year, actually, yeah. I finished Exp uh, Explorers of Sky earlier this year. I remember playing it a little bit a long, long time ago, so some of the twists and turns I knew, but it, it made me cry. I shed some tears. The only reason I didn't just burst out bawling was because of, uh, like, uh... Because I had to do the voice acting. And because I didn't have to do the... <laughs> since I had to do the voice acting, helped me, like, uh, avoid a bit of <laughs> the <laughs> emotional damage. I am missing so much, I am in pain. I am missing so much, I am in pain! But yeah, I am vibing with this. Like, younger me would probably be, a, like, a more harsh on it, because younger me was bastard. But going into this just thinking, like, I'm going to take this at face value. I will try not to compare it to, like, the stories and stuff of past games unless it's just, like, a 
funny aha or like, ooh, interesting thing. Sparkling floor. Oh, okay. Use a tartar orb to temporarily confuse all enemies in a room. This is particularly useful when you run into a bunch of enemies at once. Monster house. Oh, a gold bar! Suck it, um, whatever your name was. I have gold bars now! I bought gold! Pagrius is in town looking for gold bars. You can receive rare items in trade. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how sad are these games? They get you emotionally attached to characters. I really love the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, especially being friends with a certain someone. I'll definitely maybe have to give it a shot someday. Oh, damn it. Wild has fought all you want, you're dead. And pursuit. Trivial pursuit, even. Oh, I want to go up them. I understand you default to no, so that if I just spam click, I can get through. Younger me was harsh to this game, but it was uh, good for uh, that we're managed to enjoy it now. Yeah, it definitely deserves a second reevaluation. Because, like, I can understand saying that it's not as good as Sky. I can understand that. But ragging on it f deeper without good cause, I think, is just a poor... He's a poor sports... unsportsmanlike. It's ungentlemanly. Because, again, this was the first 3D... Well, I guess unless the, you count the WiiWare games, but nobody counts the WiiWare games. But yeah, just ultimately... Blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, like this is the first 3D mystery, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. They had to make new models and assets and everything. Because, again, Explorers of Sky had two games to build off of. Rescue Team and, Explore, uh, and the previous Explorer titles. Because Time and Darkness came before Sky. And they could just... Oh, you bastard. I almost died because you got a crit. But yeah, because Explorers of Sky just took, like, the art assets and probably programming of Rescue Team, combined it with the added stuff from, and story from Explorers of Time and Darkness, and then created a, an amazing third version. But it's still a third version. So, comparing... Like, these standalone ones that, like, don't have that, like, leg up is a little bit mean. Ever so slightly. I wish that I had throw items. Adino is a scary motherfucker. Marching towards me like God has forsaken me. Honestly, I was trying to hold in my tears from my own dialogue, but it was uh, too hard to speak, so I gave in to the tears. <laughs> I hope a game does that to me someday. It would be hilarious if this game did it to me. People are like, oh, GTI isn't that good, makes me a blubbering fool. I would love that. That would be amazing. I want that experience. I heard Pythagoras instead of Pythagoras. Ah, oh, the wonders of the mind. I still get teary eyed at Don't Ever Forget, same. Don't Ever Forget is such wonderful music. Like, like In the Hands of Fate, that makes me tear up. Don't Ever Forget makes me tear up. Pretty much like, pretty much anything that uses the Time Gear motif makes me tear up. I hope that this game has recognizable music motifs like that as well. Where the, you get to an emotional moment, plays it, and you're just like, oh no, that song, my heart. That's what I want. That is what I desire. It's like over Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Emerald would be uh, played first for all its content. Yep. 
Oh, we got to a midway point. Advice bulletin. You're getting close to your goal. It's not much farther now. Time to be careful. There's a deposit box here, too. Be sure to organize your items, then challenge the path ahead. Oh, and any time you find a deposit box like this in a dungeon, you'll also be able to save your adventure from the X menu. It's a good idea to save your adventure whenever you can. Are you threatening me? We've got to catch up to Scraggy. Let's give it our all, Neon. Indeed. I like the design of the deposit box, honestly. Do, 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 do. And of course, Save. Oh, I meant time, not sky. <laughs> Question, I have explored the sky in darkness. Which uh, should I play? Definitely sky because it's basically the third version of Explorers. So it has like, I think all the Pokemon from uh, time and darkness and has a bunch of new stuff and the special episodes is very good. You have to save or else. Game threatens me. <laughs> You dare to not save? I'll kill you. I hate that my ally swaps places with me like that. I should take away your leer. You're doing nothing with it. That's it. I'm definitely taking away your leer privileges. Quit leering at our foes. I need to go to moves. And then once we get to a boss, I'll turn them back on. And of course you miss. What is with all the whooper? Are we invading Quagsire's home? Is that what we're doing? Oh, I, uh, I, you meant time you don't have Sky. Then I honestly don't know. I think mostly the only difference between time and uh, darkness should be the uh, Pokemon you run into. Oh, yeah. No, no, I forget. No, I don't think there's much of a difference. It's mostly just... Like, I'm not that versed in it. So I don't know. Oh, you can learn a new move. Lock. Dragon Rage! Cuts corners. Target enemy. Special. Uh, it causes a set amount of damage to an enemy. Hmm. Honestly, I think... Get rid of focus energy, because... Leer is practical. It can land and you do more damage. Lowers their defense. Focus energy is a gamble. <laughs> Leer <laughs> privileges revoked. Yep. So I say, let's go for Dragon Rage, even if though its accuracy is a bit low. What? Oh, did I do it wrong? Did I say no? Damn it. I luckily, uh, oh, I don't, I don't think I saw a, like, move rememberer. I'm a fool. I can't believe the game let me brain fart my way into canceling learning a thing. How dare, game. How dare you tackle me. I smack you. And now I level up. I need to be careful, because it's easy to not learn the move I want to learn. Wrap. It could wrap an enemy and make it unable to move. It keeps damaging the enemy. Hmm. Is that worth it? Hmm. That means giving up a damaging move, and I think... Because it depends on how much damage it does. But, no, I don't think so. Cancel learning? Yes. And plus, in these games, there's usually a move rememberer, so I shouldn't be too terrible. I like that it almost looks like I throw, like, a viney boomerang at my enemy. But man, these Audino are annihilating me. 
they're just big tanky and they just keep slapping me. Some people might be into that, but I'm not. You tackle, I tackle, you tackle, I pursuit, and then you die. How the hell did Scraggy get through all this? Did he bribe him? Did he bribe them all? Somebody picked up my money! That's my money! The Hadinos are very aggressive nurses. Hello, nurse! Or rather, please go away and don't kill me! Oh, hey, Sparkly! That's cool. That's cool. There's sparkles on the ground that have items. I love this. They're getting revenge for being killed for, as experienced farms in Gen 5. That would be funny. If, that's, that's kind of funny that it worked out like that. Remember to stay hydrated. Hey, Neon. That's, the way seems a bit brighter up ahead. Let's push on, okay? That's Scraggy. We finally found him. Neon, let's catch up to him and see what he has to say. Oh, someone's coming. That can't be. What? You want us to hide? Whoa! I like that the main character has some agency in here. Did you know that I spent like 30 or like 15 to 30 minutes trying to think of just like, hmm, what's this word I want to use in my writing? Hmm, what's that word? And it was just agency the whole time for like, oh, character has agency. Brain was evil. Just completely broken. I bet Luck plays Fortnite. I will not elaborate further. I don't understand. I don't play Fortnite. What's the big idea, Neon? Huh? And now you want me to whisper? Okay, fine, I'll whisper. Seriously, what is going on? What? Th that's... Girder! Why is Girder here? He's being a bitch. Sorry for the wait. Took you long enough. I want to get down to business, yo. Don't be like that. I've got to be careful to make sure I'm not followed either. It takes a lot of work to keep up this kind of scam, you know. You haven't lost your touch, though, huh? Still quite the skillful little thief. So, where's the cash? Yeah, yeah, I've got it what I promised. Getting a little greedy, huh? Hmm, who are you calling greedy? These blue gems will pay you back a big time if you sell them in the West. Compared to that, the pokey you pay me is like a drop in the bucket, eh? <laughs> well, that's true enough. Of course, I could just go into Stony Cave myself and get some, but... Well, it does get pretty dicey in there. Having you lend your particular expertise to that problem is just plain expedient. Ain't no other way about it. I'm gonna have those two fools bring me some more gems. I'll be counting on the usual amount when they do. What? You're gonna have them get you even more? Those little losers? That's right. After all, they're still dumb enough to believe I'll build them a house. At this rate, I'll be able to send them after more gyms for the rest of their lives. You serious? Dude, you're cold. It's their dream to build their own home, ain't it? They're gonna keep believing in that dream and just keep bringing you gyms forever? Never knowing it won't come true? Man, I think I could cry! You got any heart left? You want me to cry over something like that? Ah! You, the great Scraggy, who pulls off me way meaner schemes in the West. Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> you sneaky little... What? You two? We followed Scraggy here. Girder! Quite the convincing act you had us falling for, huh? Hmm. Anyone who expects honesty in this world is a fool. That's what you get for trusting me. Dreaming big, and you lose big. It's your phone fault for getting tricked. You... you were tailing me? You mean you actually saw through my mad skills? I'm impressed, losers. But... what you think you're gonna do now? You wanna fight? With the two of us? 
I'm warning you now, I've been tussling with the wrong side of the route my whole life. The battles I've lived through, well, little squirts like you couldn't imagine. It'd be best for you two to toddle off home to your mamas, you hear? I don't have a mother. No way! Bring it! My, my, my. And even after I went to the trouble of warning you losers. You don't have a bit of sense between the two of you, do you? Fine, then. Why don't we just show you... We'll show you what a big mistake you're making! Let's roll! Oh, hey, we're just right next to each other. Pursuit. Of course I miss. You know what? I'm going to come here and start smacking him because I think he's ground type. Not just normal. And my accuracy went down. I, I'm worried because I'm not sure if, like, give... Oh, uh, it's probably eat. And then, yeah, I select lock. And now I need to eat. Whoop. And now I need to eat. Dang sand attack. Not very effective. Shouldn't be using that. Dang it. Dang it. I really should have brought all my orange berries. Oh, wait. Totter orb. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, okay, prevents bat size effects and prevents the power from going down. Okay, I need to use these items. All right. Health orb! Oh, oh, there we go. Hmm, I need to be careful. And, uh, orange berry for you, too. And totter orb. Strategy. Last minute strategy. Ouch! And he just runs. You. I'm not gonna lose here. I'm not gonna lose to you fools. Get her! Come on! Boss, please just stop! B what? Boss, we're begging you. Please, stop doing these things. You two. Why are you... You didn't. You wouldn't! So, you two are the ones who sold me out! The backstabbers appear at last. It was your meddling! Draw! Get her! Gah! Boss! Please! Let this be the last time you do this kind of thing, okay? What? We don't want to do this anymore. We never work. All we do is bad stuff. We don't want to watch any more of this. You never used to be like this, boss. You were nice. And you loved your work. You're not... Well, you're not the boss we knew. Not anymore. What? You little... You think you can defy me, huh? We don't want to do bad things anymore, boss. Please, boss. We're begging. Can't we... Can't we just do honest work together like we used to? Can't you just... Have fun working with us again? Work like we used to. You. You guys ought to know better than anyone. There's no way that can happen. Get her! What? What are you doing? It's time you guys learned already. You can't... You can't just go back to the way things used to be. Jeez. Oh... Are you guys okay? 
It seems like there's more to this story than we've heard. Tell us what happened. Yes. You see, our boss... He used to be a great carpenter, really. Everyone loved his work back then. We were in awe of his skills, and that's why we wanted to work with him. Being his apprentices was really, really fun back then. But then... The boss got injured one day. After he injured his back, he couldn't move the way he used to. His body just wouldn't listen. So he couldn't build the way he used to either. And because of that, he couldn't practice his building skills. So they went downhill. But even then, even without his old skills, the boss kept doing the best he could, you know? He still had his pride in his work. But then it happened. What happened? A certain Pokemon asked us to build him a house. Work had become pretty scarce by that time. We were so happy, all three of us. We poured our hearts into that house. We used up every last drop of energy we had to build it. And that Pokemon, he started bashing the quality of our work. And then he destroyed the house right before our eyes. What? At first we thought he had torn it down because our work wasn't good enough. If that were really the reason, well, I guess we would have had to deal with it. But that wasn't the reason. From the very start, he was just toying with us. Toying with you? He had us build that house with every intention of tearing it down afterward. Planning from the start to complain about the work as an excuse to not pay us. That Pokemon called the boss's house a piece of garbage, can you imagine? And smashed it over and over until there was truly nothing but garbage left. The boss had no confidence in himself after that day. He gave in to his despair and stopped working at all. And eventually he started cheating other Pokemon, like you. What a horrible story. But you said that Pokemon was just toying with you, right? He was planning to tear down the house from the start, so that means it didn't have anything to do with how good or bad your work was. Girder shouldn't have given up faith in himself because of that. We tried saying that too, but the boss just wouldn't listen to a word we said. In the end, he's the one who felt the loss of his skills the most. And that house, he tried so hard to do a perfect job. And then it all got torn down in front of his face. I don't think it's any surprise he gave up after that seeing that. But still, that doesn't mean he should become a criminal. We don't want the boss to keep doing these bad things. We thought maybe we could change things this time. And that's why we tried telling you about Scraggy Neon. But in the end, the boss isn't going to change, is he? We just want to work together with the boss again. We want him to go back to being the same old boss we loved, who loved what he did. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, Neon? Of course. Oh, hey, that was actually dialogue, not like parentheses. Meanwhile, my YouTube chat is just stuck in a cycle of saying, do the roar. I thought I did the roar. Maybe there's an in-joke that I, the streamer, don't know about. <laughs> Have I been lost to my own in-jokes? It's settled then. Our house is definitely going to be built by Girder. What? What? Even after he's been so terrible to you, why would you? We've decided we don't want anyone else to build it. Girder's our guy. I want to see the house you two and Girder will build together. A house with all our, your heart and soul poured into it. Girder headed farther in this way. Let's go ask him to help us. Even if he says no, we're going to keep on asking him till he agrees. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Let's all go together. Let's go see Girder together. I'm glad the protagonist talks back. Like, I kind of understand, but like, I want to have like more conversation between the hero and the partner. I think it's cool. I think that'd be neat. Sure, could like hurt the like impact of like the finale of the partner like talking, but still, or like the hero talking to the partner. I'm gonna have to manage these, these chuckles. I have like no heals left. I'm already in tears. This game is good. I did feel kind of teary-eyed when I was like talking as the timber. 
Like, I am enjoying this a lot. I am very... Ah, shit, this ain't good. But yeah, I am enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I hope it continues good. I do think that the camera could uh, stand to be just a little bit more pulled out so I can more easily see my full party, but not not bad. It is always Udino! Go home and be a nurse! It's like just a procession of tanks. Rolling up is just like, would you like to die today? No! We found the exit, but I don't want the exit. I want to explore. I just need to be careful with the timber and not let them die. Because more than likely, they'll yoink all my... <laughs> well, just not even yoink anything. I have nothing for them to yoink. They would just die and I would lose. Orenberry. I have to find whoever had that Orenberry and kill him. Unless they use it. Hey, die. Orenberry! But I can't do the roar. If I do the roar, then everybody will be blown away. We want to get to Girder, not blow him away. But I am enjoying this game. I do like that they just, like, threw in, like... Because here's the thing. It feels like a fresh take. I like that they're like, oh, we need to get, <laughs> like, I just go to this per go with this person, they're buying land for a Pokemon paradise, and now they're like, hmm, we need to build a house, and then they make, like, a whole thing out of getting to the house. I do think that we're running into this configuration of top left always being a bibbidi-bobbidi-nothing burger, so that's a little bothersome game. Get some origin- Never mind, the Timber are badasses. Long live Timber. <laughs> I don't even know what the, the what the roar is. Eat a blast seed, and you will attack in a direction you're facing by spitting fire. You can also throw them at enemies while they'll explode and cause damage. Die. But I am enjoying this so much. Like I re I'm really enjoying this. I really like this. I guess more boss battle time. We've got to get to Girder's help somehow. Let's do it, Neon. Uh, sorry, but please ask the boss to help you. Let's all do our best. Oh, wait, no, not deposit. I need to withdraw this Orenberry because I don't have any uh, orbs left, I don't think. Nope. Maybe the blast seed will come in handy, but... Oh, wait, I need to heal. This song is nice. This is some good music! Love it! I swear, chat's have devolved. Next thing would be if he's saying is mine. Mine! Mine! I'm loving this music, dude! Who wants to bet that this is just an alcove? Well, it had a seed. Like... The, th like the, the three things I want out of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. A s good story, good characters, and good music. So far, this game is doing it. Son of a bitch. We're taking so long that the other Odino just left. I'm just loving it. Well, my chat has devolved into the seagulls from Finding Nemo. I'm just... This game. I think at this point... Well, well, Timber have gone to murder. Okay, Timber went and just absolutely annihilated people. 
Good job, Gert. Uh, good job, Timber. You guys are good. Hey, Locke, have a zinc band. But yeah, unless like the story just takes a terrible turn of writing, I think I'm going to be loving this. I think this is going to be just a grand old time. I love it. I might be able to say, like, oh, it, like it, Sky did this better, but, like, this is still going great. I love this. You set them to genocide mode? I don't even think I can take them off genocide mode. It's just baked in. They're like, these guys are gonna go help the boss be back the way he was. Nobody's gonna get in the way! So they just go on a murder spree for our sakes. And man, this music is so good, I love it! We're nearly to the peak now. Oh! Ain't that... the boss? Looks like it. Okay, you two should probably wait here. For now, Neon and I will go and... try to talk some sense into Girder. Look at that moon in the clouds! They're moving! I do kind of like that I think this is the first time we've seen his back. And there is a scar on his back. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. So it's still... no good, huh? Girder! What? You two again? We've been looking for you, Girder. So you're still angry, are you? Fine, let's do this. What? No, that's not... We just want to... Girder! I can't build houses anymore. Even if I wanted to build something, I ain't got the strength! But... For some reason, I've still got plenty of strength left for fighting! Good for nothing power that can't create a thing! Neon, watch out! I'll show you what real rage looks like! You better be ready! Low kick! I'm gonna leer him a few times. Pursuit! Not very effective. Should probably use a berry on the boy. I do like this remix of like the the battle theme. Like the boss theme. Get vine whipped. And goodbye. <laughs> He's a wrecking ball. Low kick. <laughs> yeah, the boss fight intro screen was cool. <laughs> For an explanation, I had said, uh, how much to get you to do the voice of the do the roar kid from Shrek 2 for a character and all went down from there. I don't think I even remember that scene from Shrek 2. God, it's been a long time since I watched Sh the Shrek movies. Ugh. Are you... are you satisfied? No! It doesn't matter how much you rage against it. No matter how much you hate it. Some things can't be changed. This world we live in... It's all about who's doing the lying and who's being lied to. <laughs> Discount, it's all kill or be killed. <laughs> Honest folks just look like fools. In a world like this, you're the ones who get blamed for being tricked. So you can't get mad at me. It's just the way this rotten world works. You may be right about the world, but that's exactly why I can't accept this kind of thing. Ah, uh, we didn't come here to argue about this kind of stuff. Girder, we want... we want you to build us a house. What? But I was such a jerk to you! You still want my help? You want me to work with you to build your home? Yeah. We'll get together the pokey and the material somehow. So please, won't you help us build ourselves a home? You... you... <laughs> I swear. You're some kind of prize fools, aren't you? 
Don't you even realize I've been lying to you this whole time? I've got no hope left. Not for this world. Not for my craft. Look at this scar, why don't you? Thanks to this stupid injury, my body won't even do what I want it to do anymore. I can't build anything. Build you a house? <laughs> I can't make nothing but junk anymore. You get it now? You're asking an old washout who can't build anything decent to build your house. Boss, you're wrong. You, you two. Lock and Neon already knew about your injury. We told him about it. You did what? But even knowing that, near Lock and Neon, they still want you to build the house. What? Gerda, you just said you can't build anything but junk, right? But what's wrong with that? You just need to work on getting better again. We want you to build our house, Gerda. No one else. If you'll just put your heart into building it, then we don't need a fancy house. We don't want to live in some perfectly built masterpiece that has no heart. We want a house made by someone who pours their heart into what they made. <laughs> and besides... These timber would follow you to the end of the world, you know? No matter how far you might stray from the path, no matter how many times you lash out at them, they still go on believing that you can all have fun working together again someday. You've still got them, Girder. This music box is nice. You have to think about them. They've been trying so desperately to help you, but... Uh, Girder, what do you think you've been doing, huh? Boss, let's go back to work. Let's all work together again. Please, boss. Let's go back to the old days. Where we used to have fun, boss. You, you too. Kerner, please. Build our house. Build us the house that no one but you could make. <laughs> boss. Boss. Look, Neon. I'll do it. I'll build your house. Girder. Really? Yeah. I'll put everything I've got into it. But but not now. Right now I I just need to cry for a bit. I like the personality that this all brings. I like this. I like this a lot. Compare this to the main keys from Rescue Team. And so, Gerda promised to build the house in paradise. Once, once we returned from Hazy Pass, Gerda and the Timber began building at once. And the two of us, and even Quagsire, we all did our best to help with the construction of the new home. And several days later... It looks nice. I like it. It's done! We have a house! Hmm... It's quite an interesting house, hmm? Uh, sorry, it's so bad. I'm afraid this is the best I can do right now. But it does have a certain warmth to it. Like, sure, it seems kind of lopsided on the roof, but it looks nice. I like it. I think it's a good house. Well, even if it doesn't look very pretty, I had a really good time doing this job. Ye said it. This has got to be the most fun I've ever had on a job. It's like, yeah, it's kind of shabby, but it's not really shabby. It's kind of strange, but I'm pretty happy with the work we did in an odd sort of way. Though it really is not much to look at. Hmm. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I love it. Girder, Timber, Timber, and Quagsire too. Thanks, everybody. Everyone put their hearts into it. That's all that really matters. At any rate, this is going to be... Our new home! I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> He's small as fuck good or you're fired. <laughs> now, it's perfectly... It's basically the same, like, size as the rescue team house. And like we said, we don't need a fancy thing. The next morning. Look at this. Where'd we get an apple?
We wake up with a roof over our head. Morning, Neon. How'd you sleep last night? I was out like a light. It wasn't cold or windy or anything. It's great to have a house. No, it's awesome. And now that we've got our house, I really want to start expanding paradise. We should keep adding facilities and shops and stuff. Facilities? Yeah, like fields that can grow berries, or dojos where we can work on our moves. I want to make all kinds of facilities that'll come in handy for our adventures. And of course, this area does have very high mysteriosity. You know, like it's really mysterious. If we started digging around, we might find that there are dungeons or things. Hey, it could happen. At any rate, we should prepare lots of land for development. Oh, and I suppose we'll need some more Pokemon we can trust. If we just got two more Pokemon to join us, then we could register as a team too. Adventures would be a breeze then. We don't want just anyone on our team, of course. It'd be great to be a real team. Pokemon we can trust. But I know we aren't gonna get all that done at once. We've just gotta start small and keep moving forward. Neon, let's give it our all again today. I like this. This is great. We imported the apple from the explorer's continent. <laughs> Scott, uh, Scott the Woz quote, I hate walls. Why do I live here? I need to watch Scott the Woz. I've never watched him before. He sounds funny. Square Enix fans, does this happen to you? <laughs> Girder the Builder, can he fix it? He can make the most beautiful garbage. Hey, Quagsire. Hey, Quagsire. Morning. What are you up to so early? Morning. I've just been waiting for you two to wake up. What? You were waiting for us? Come with me, hmm? But I wonder what this thing is like, oh, we need two more people to form a team thing is. Oh, yeah, Zoomero. Mm-hmm. This is it. Isn't this a bulletin board? Mm-hmm. Consider it a little gift from me. I'm calling it the mm, request board. You'll find information about adventuring and requests from Pokemon. They may need you to find something for them or take care of some bad egg. You may even find little requests for help from the Pokemon around town. Hmm? All kinds of different notices will crop up on here. Hmm? Yeah? Cool! So if we complete these requests, we can earn Pokier items in return, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and... Mm, I moved one of the deposit boxes from Post Town here, too. You should use it, too. Mm, keep a handle on all your items and Pokey. And um, I've started a shop here as well. I haven't got many goods yet, but if you come talk to me, I'll show you what I can offer, hmm? If you see something you like, be sure to buy it, hmm? Thanks for all this, Quagsire. You're such a huge help. Why are you so nice to us, huh? You even helped us build our house. Mm, well, mm, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe because you and Neon are trying so hard for something. Whenever I see someone trying their best, I just feel like mm, helping out. I know I'm normally mm, pretty relaxed, but watching you in Neon somehow gets me all worked up. Ho oh, oh. ho. So, hmm, let me explain how the request board works. You see, there are all sorts of notes left on the board, and mm, each is a request. Select a request that you'd like to fulfill for someone and mm, tear it right off. Next, you'll take the note over to the request counter, hmm. Then if you hand the note to Azumarill... Hi there! Just talk to me whenever you're ready to go! Then you'll be able to go to the dungeon you need to complete your request. Oh yeah, isn't this the thing that people, uh, like, complain about? You can only take, uh, one dungeon mission at a time? I think that's what people, uh, da-da-da, like, get annoyed by. <laughs> Quickstar's my favorite. He's a sweetheart. He does seem very nice. That's mm, about it for my explanation. Pretty simple, hmm? Go on and um, pick your very first ever request. Make it a good one. Neon, mind if I choose this time? Uh, which one should I pick? I've got it! Let's do this one! Rip. Now I just give it to Azumarill, all right? Step right up! Welcome to the request counter! What sort of request will you be helping out with today? This one, please! I see! 
I'll get everything ready for your departure. A psychic Azumarill. Whoa! The doors open by themselves! Oh, that, that's actually <laughs> that's actually a thing. Change the quest and you'll get back less backlash. <laughs> I wonder what that means. The request gate has been opened! Do your best in there! That's how you do it, right? Mmm, that's it exactly. Then all you have to do is go out through the request gate. You'll be taken to the proper dungeon, hmm? So what kind of request did you select, Locke? Hmm, I'm rather curious. Will you let me steal a peek? Mm-hmm. Please, I can't seem to find my way out of Stomp Stomp... Stomp Stump Peak. I thought I could make it through this kind of mountain on my own, but before I knew it, I'd completely lost my way. I'm sorry to ask, but please help me. Dunsparce. Hmm, it's not a very glamorous request, is it? The Poke you'll earn isn't much either. You're sure you want this request, hmm? Definitely! Out of all the requests on the board, this Pokemon seems to need our help the most! I don't think the reward is important as helping out a Pokemon who really needs it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so moved! <laughs> I knew you two were good Pokemon! Now all you need to do is leave the center and go to that dungeon! Hurry up and save that Pokemon! <laughs> right! Let's go, Neon! There's someone in the passerby post. What? What's a passerby post? A mailbox? There's something in it. When you look inside, you find a letter. Here's what it says. Notice. Welcome to passerby post. The passerby post can be used to help uh, others when they faint in a dungeon. Many Pokemon out there are even now adventuring in the dungeons of this world, but some adventurers faint before finishing their journey through a dungeon. But then, when that happens, if you put a reviver seed in the passerby post, you may save someone who fainted with the street pass. Haha, <laughs> as if that happens. If you do manage to save someone, your good deed will be rewarded. Life is all about give and take. So how about placing a reviver seed in your passerby post? Well, it seems to be something is still inside the post. And I got a reviver seed, and I'm gonna keep it. Using Street Pass, which doesn't exist for me, you can help everyone by putting Reviver Seeds in the post. You can even get something nice if you put past lots of people. No. Welcome to Pokemon Paradise. This is the Paradise Center. You cannot go to other locations while the request gate is open. Talk to Azumarill if you would like to request gate closed. <laughs> oh, neat. I, my running animation, I go so fast. Oh, thanks for coming, hmm? If you find something you'd like, be sure to buy it, hmm? Let's see. Health herb, reviver seeds. Hmm. I might... So basically, he's a discount general store for when we're here. Interesting. Let's see. How much money do I have in here? If I withdraw, I should be able to buy a Reviver Seed. But I ha how many uh, Reviver Seeds do I have currently? Well, let's reorder. I have one Reviver Seed. Uh, I don't think it should be that bad. So I guess I will put my money away. I can't get out. Is your currently registered job, but would you like to cancel that job? It won't be deleted from the job list. No, this is the tutorial thing. We gotta save Dunsparce. I think I saw Dunsparce in, like, the the main, like, opening. Let's go do it. Then you want to depart? Sure. Stomp, stomp, peek. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So I need to flow down those logs to get in. Ah, apparently the different game's continents have names. Rescue Team is the Air Continent, Explorers is the Grass Continent, Gates is Mist Continent, and Super is just all over the place. Sand plus Water Continents and Sea of Wonders. Interesting. 
Well, I guess let's get into some fights. It is a bit odd that the... Like, uh... Pattern down here is... Like, weird feeling. Man, the music is super cool in this game. It's like bootleg band pipes. Warning, don't use the keys to open gates. Uh, you'll regret it early game. It's a late game access. Uh, well, for its level 40 and 30, the game doesn't tell you, sadly. Okay. Because if I got a key and ran into one of those gates, I'd be like, oh, cool. Because I did run into a gate in, like the one of the early dungeons so I definitely would have used one you've been hit with leech seed it will gradually drain your HP the status will go away after a while but if your HP gets too low be sure to use an item to heal yourself how dare you absorb me another power band How dare you rage at the machine! You, you bastard. We could leave immediately if we wanted, but that's not how you get items. Ah, level up time for the boy. Lock grew to level 11. Hello, Bagon. Ah, you missed, idiot. Like, again, the music in this game is very nice. Like, in a way, I'm almost sad that it's so different from the other, like, rescue team and explorers. But at the same time, it's also kind of nice. Has a bit of variety, but I really liked the sound of Rescue Team and Explorers. The sound that the sound font they used for that gave was just so good. Do, 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 do. I'm just really... I'm vibing with this. I'm vibing with this. Like, so far, every single... Like, uh, dungeon theme has sounded so good. No more leech. Damn it. Why did I miss? We both got seeded by a bitch. And then I missed. Yeah. Uh. Your growth went up, but now you will die. Murder the, the, the pet lil. The music is really refreshing. I love running through the dungeon every time. Why? I guess this is just the item alcove. Use an escape orb to escape from the dungeon and return to th 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 return to town. Professor Oak had a stroke. Use it if you are close to being defeated. <laughs> Better to run away than to lose all your items, I guess. We have come to murder you. Now I'm imagining like a Pokemon mystery dungeon roguelike in the same vein as like uh, Hades. And that like telepathic professor thing that's like, now is not the time to use your bicycle, is like the narrator. It's just like, why is Professor Oak in my head? I always, uh, getting oh, escape orbs. I have so many, I hardly use them. That's a mood. I prefer to fight to the death. And just, like, survive. Who needs to... Who needs to escape when you just don't die? There's a time for everything, but not now. Quick, use your gun instead! Ah! 
But I'm really liking, like, they're using the 3D environment so well. And I, I like the 3D animation, just the 3D stuff. I really, really like that. I really, really like what they're doing with this game so far. We've kept an eye out this whole way, but... There's still no sign of Dunsparce, huh? Maybe if we keep going a bit farther. Who's that? Who's over there? Oh, a Molga? Dunsparce. Nope, clearly not. They don't really look like enemy Pokemon either, but... Did you just say Dunsparce? We're looking for Dunsparce as a part of a request. Request? Oh, that bulletin board thing. So there's still Pokemon desperate enough to work for that dinky reward, huh? Thanks, though. I could use your help. I'm a Molga. I'm looking for Dunsparce, too. Dunsparce is my best friend, got it? But he's a bit of a coward, really. And he's always messing up. Pretty much whenever he does anything, he ends up needing someone to bail him out. So he's basically Shaggy Dog Story Bidoof. So, you know, I was getting a bit worried and decided to look for him myself. If you guys happen to find him first, take care of him, would ya? See ya! Seems like Dunsparce causes quite a bit of worry, huh? But never mind that. If he's in trouble, we ought to help him. Let's move on! Eastern Plateau. Ding, ding, do, 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 do. It looks like I could probably climb down this rope ladder. Climb down the rope ladder? Yes! Whoa! We survived a fall from the sky. That should not scale us. Oh, that's cute. They actually put an animation for that. Looks like we can't get up this way. Are you ready to go ahead? Are you ready to go ahead? Yes. <laughs> Bidoof is better, honestly. Hmm. I'll have to judge him myself when I meet this Dunspots. <laughs> you try to hit me. I hit you back, bitch. Also, one thing that I enjoy after we read this. You cringed and won't be able to use a move on your next turn. Wait it out for one turn, switch to a po oh, switch of a party member, or use an item to recover. Why would I use an item to recover when that just wastes a turn anyway? Damn it. But yeah, one thing that I'm noticing is that the rooms in these dungeons aren't like perfect squares and stuff. They're actually unique shapes, and I like that. <laughs> the developers really went and read how to make square interesting. How dare you absorb my life force? Die. I'm just, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really enjoying it. It's such fun. Like, for some reason, it could just be the fact that, like, the art style is so different. But it honestly feels like a breath of fresh air compared to, like, Rescue Team and Explorers. Not to say that, like, Rescue Team and Explorers are bad. It's just, like, this, so, this has such a cool feel to it. Hilariously, this is the smallest dungeon path that I've ever experienced. Who the fuck are you? Well, I guess Blast. Cringed over flinch the difference between the mainline games to the side games Huh, I could have sworn I guess huh. I never really thought of that That in this game they call it cringing instead of flinching, huh? I don't think I've ever seen this Pokemon before That temple I've never seen it Huh I guess I went down the same path I did before? 
But I went down the left one. It's discount mudkip. Yeah, I could have sworn that I went down this path before. Hmm. Because we went right. Let's go to Western Cave, I guess. Maybe I'm messing up and I'm being bad. But at least we get, like, our uh, PowerPoint. Oh, no, we don't get our PowerPoints back. I thought we did. I'm a dumb. Note. Ah, we get a blast seed and a red key. Why would you give us a red key this early? Die. Smack my head on you. I smack my head on you. <laughs> now my brain's just going, just like, write and don't. You'll lose subscriber for the cringe. Get blasted. Again, the, the, the discount bagpipes are just hilarious to me. Destroy the pet lil. You'll never become a proper lil again. Hisui is far away. I guess we'll just move on. So I guess I went, like... <laughs> I went to the western cave, came out on the eastern plateau, and... <laughs> Amusing. Fight me! Fight me! I'll kill you! God himself won't save you! And then I just smack the, the logs again. While you smack logs, remember, stay hydrated. We made a bridge. How did you make a bridge? Sheer luck. But I am vibing with this game. Welcome to Stomp Stump Peak. Fun to climb and fun to clear. I don't believe you. Are you ready to go ahead? No, but let's go ahead anyway. How dare you absorb me. Quit absorbing from me and die already. Hard. Now you'll die. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? I saw Reunion Cape. What is a Reunion Cape? I think I read one fanfic that had that in it. It warps you to, uh, your, let's see, info. When the holder gets separated from you, it'll warp near you. If you hold it, you'll warp near your teammate when you get separated. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Potentially useful. I wonder if I could give my partner of the reunion, like, cape, if we're already separated and they'll just teleport back. And, like, I like rooms like this. It looks cool. Do, 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 do. I'm just, I'm so enjoying this. A discount warp orb. I've never used a warp orb. A oh, five. Please die. And an all dodge orb. Also, I just re remembered orbs work in boss battles. I instinctively decided to use that orb in the boss battle. If this was Rescue Team or anything else, I would have been obliterated. I 
I can't believe that this Bagon made me cringe. You lose subscriber, Bagon. Every single time, this is just an alcove. I'm just enjoying this. A peck berry? Where'd you get the peck berry, motherfucker? I want that peck berry because I want to have it. It will be mine. If I find you, I will kill you and take your berry. It'll be mine. All mine. And maybe locks too. That's the game changer, dude. Using orbs and boss battles makes sense because it was a waste of space to have them. I was attacking because I was reading chat and my brain went bleh. But yeah, with like orbs, there were only a handful of orbs that were even worth using. Because, like, the only time you'd want to use an orb is either, like, in a monster house or a, in a boss battle. And since you couldn't use them in boss battles and monster houses were random and kind of all over the place, orbs just became dead weight. Uh, except for very specific situations. You lose subscriber. Mm -hmm. This is just a fun experience. Plus, it could just be my inner child going, Oh boy, new mystery dungeon game I've never played before. New mystery dungeon game I know hardly anything about. Hilariously, the only thing I did know about it was Hydragun and Mana existed in it and they have that be like the introduction and so i have no idea what anything <laughs> silas zorla neon apollo and me probably like how the hell are you using it in a boss fight <laughs> oh i missed a shiny floor damn it oh well looks like dunspars isn't here either should we keep going a bit farther oh, speaking of shiny huh neon over there look do you see something sparkling Oh no, it's Reggie Ice. He's been broken into a million pieces. Oh, they're beautiful. These are probably crystals, huh? They're so clear, but they still reflect light like crazy. Look, when you look into this one, like one like this, you can see yourself. It's like a mirror. Check it out, Neon. It's true. I can clearly see my own figure in this perfect reflection. And damn, ain't I sexy. Though I'd almost forgotten that now I look like Snivy. We could use these to decorate our house. Let's take some with us, yeah? A beautiful crystal. Sorry for the hold up, Neon. Let's get going again. <laughs> Reggie Ice, no! Reggie Ice has been taken, <laughs> split apart, and shoved into a wall. You've seeded your last leech. I just realized I don't know if this game has months. I've heard this music before, I think. <laughs> you <laughs> Damn it. How dare you have protein? But I can't buy it because you jacked up the price, you motherfucker. Everyone is stealing items from me and I am in this ziggy zaggy hallway. And now I have the full hold orb. Chat says, sexy snivy question mark. In the Mystery Dungeon world, pretty much any Pokemon is sexy.
You go on adventures. It's like Conan the Barbarian. You have a comic book made of you. You get objectified. You sell action figures. I've never once stolen from the Kecleon. Same. The Kecleon are nightmarish and shall not be fought. <laughs> Neon, you are female. Now you and Locke can have special snuggles. Honestly, I don't know what my Snivy is. My Snivy's just Snivy. And even if male Snivy, they can still have special snuggles. Because it's the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. And nobody judges there. Instead, they'll just take your money. <laughs> they don't care if you're homosexual, they just want your crystals. People are gonna break into our house and steal our shit, aren't they? Man can't have shit in paradise. Also, I just realized... Like, the map is slightly different enough from... the normal maps from Rescue Team and Explorers... that I just, like... It still kind of throws me for a loop because, like, the roads are just so, so, so tiny. It's weird. Why did Bagon come in here and fall asleep? Who wouldn't want to snuggle with the grass snake? We've come pretty far up. Ah, Neon! Over there! That's... Probably done sparse, wouldn't you say? Let's go ask. Are you gonna leap into the waterfall? Oh, what am I going to do? Ah! You must be done sparse, right? Y yes, I am. What a relief. We came because we saw your request. We're here to save you. Th thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay now. We're just glad you aren't hurt. Don Sparse! Amoga! Thank goodness. So this is where you were. You guys found him, huh? Thanks, we owe you big time. <laughs> at least you're touching grass at home. The ultimate power of snuggling with a snivy. But very interesting. Neon, Rock, thank you so much for rescuing me. I received the Blast Seed and the Red Key. And a hundred Pokey. Not all that bad, really. Hmm, Neon and Locke, you completed your first request successfully. That's wonderful, hmm? Yeah! Thanks, Quagsire! I'm glad you we found you this time, but you've got to stop being so reckless. Oh. I know. I really want to be the kind of Pokemon who does the rescuing, you know. But I'm not strong, and I get afraid. And then I always lose my nerve when the big moment arrives. I always mess up, and then I have to be the one who gets rescued in the end. I guess I'm just really not cut out to be an adventurer. That... that's not true! I mean, sure, you're a bit of a coward, and so things don't always go so well. But your heart's in the right place, right? That's pretty hard to find these days. So you want to be an adventurer too, Dunsparce? Yes, it's my dream to become a first-rate adventurer. It would be nice to explore all kinds of different places on adventures, of course. But really, I'd just like to help Pokemon around the world who are in trouble. I want to be able to give courage and hope to Pokemon who are suffering. I just want to be useful even a little. But that's my dream, anyway. But there's a huge gap between dreams and reality. And no matter what I do, I can't. Hey, that's not true. I think that's a great dream. Don't worry. If you just keep trying, I'm sure your dream will come true. Well, why'd you try some place like Stomp Stump Peak again? I wanted a crystal. I'd heard that crystals in Stomp Stump Peak are really beautiful. Crystals? Uh-huh. Uh, do you mean... <laughs> it ain't a mystery dungeon game unless you have a flashback! It's always the flashback! Huh? Neon, over there! 
Look, do you see something sparkling? You must mean... We picked some up as we were climbing Stomp Stomp Peak. Found it! Here you go! Is this what you were talking about? Ah, that's it! This is it! This is the crystal I wanted! Oh, it was really is beautiful! Yeah? Then it's yours! What? Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine! I just picked it up because it was pretty! But if you want it, it's yours! <laughs> Locke gave Dunsparce the beautiful crystal! Thank you! But why do you want one of these crystals? Oh, I, uh, that's, I, you see. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so that's it. You wily scamp, so that's what you were after, huh? What was he after? <laughs> and no answer. No answer at all. Oh, hey, Verizon, I think. <laughs> Dunsparce vision. And apparently everybody else vision too. She looks perfect again today. Ah, I can hardly stand it. Beautiful as ever, huh? She's a sight for sore eyes. That tall, graceful figure, that cool confidence. Ah, oh, man, she's really the best. Ock, looks as though our fair lady's going toward the inn. My, my, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome, Verizian. Ah, my lovely Verizian. Wow, it's really her. Is this seat taken? Uh, b be my guest. Well, we've got to get in here. <laughs> she can't get a break, can she? Miss Verizon. Verizian, you're somehow even lovelier today than you were yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Please say you'll stay forever in here, Boast Town, my lovely Verizian. Mm, I'll think about it. Miss Verizian, where have your adventures taken you today? I've been to some caves in the east, but there was nothing there. I'm afraid I didn't get anything at all from the trip. I wonder if I've lost my edge as an adventurer. That's ridiculous! I'm sure the dungeon was just so jealous of your beauty that it wouldn't give up a single item of treasure. That's right, that's got to be what happened. So she's, uh, really popular, huh? So that Pokemon called Verizian is the one you admire? Yes. Dunsparce has adored Verizian from the first time he laid eyes on her. And like the entirety of the town. He really wants her to be his friend. So that's it. He wanted those crystals as a gift for Verizian. Dunsparce, this is your big chance. Go and give her the crystal. What? I, I can't do that. I really, really want to be friends with Verizian, but... Uh... How could I ever be brave enough to talk to someone like her? There's no way she'd even notice someone like me. That's all right. You've just got to try. I'll go and talk to her, to her for you. Come on. What? Don't worry. It'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. You guys. Hey. Really? So you just recently came to this town too, huh, Verizian? And you've been traveling wherever you felt like until now? Yeah, that about sums it up. Though it's not like I don't have any goal. But you should basically say that I go wherever the whim takes me. I came to this town because there was something I wanted to see here. Huh? What's that? The Rainbows of Hope. The Rainbows of Hope? The Rainbows of Hope! I've heard of them too! Aye, those rainbows were once the most famous sight to have seen in this land. Used to appear all, o all the time over the town. The mysterious sight of those overlapping rainbows. Och, but it was a fair sight to see. You felt warm to the very cockles of your heart. Yeah, all of us living here used to look at those rainbows. And we think, man, I hope they'll come back again tomorrow. You'd feel like... You could give it your all again after seeing them. 
Having that kind of hope for tomorrow was why we could give it our all every day. Looking at the rainbows somehow gave everybody that hope. And so we all just somehow started calling them the rainbows of hope. Oh! I recognize this song too. I think it's basically just a... Bu -bu -bu like a cut down version of the personality quiz music. <laughs> Come on, I had a crush on someone. Now I see her as a sister. That sometimes happens. Relationships be weird. But alas, those fair rainbows have ne'er appeared for many as the long day. I don't know if it has anything to do with the blasted mystery dungeons, but the one thing that's for certain is the rainbows do not appear here anymore. I heard, heard rumors that the rainbows couldn't be seen any longer, but I still wanted to see them, you know? I thought that maybe if I came here, I'd find out that they had returned. But it looks like it's no use. I won't be able to see them after all. Right. That's a real shame. Rainbows of Hope, huh? I sure would have liked to see them, too. Oh, yeah! By the way, Verizon, I know this Pokemon who really wants you to be his friend. Just say, why'd you have to say it like that, you fool? <laughs> his friend? Yeah! <laughs> Poor Dunspar's being put on the spot like that. Um, well, this is... This crystal is for you, Miss Verizon. A gift? Yes, that's right. P please, please be my friend. That's bribery. Thank you for the gift. It's lovely. But, while it is very sweet of you, I can't accept it. What? Why? I don't make friends. <laughs> oh, so she's edgy. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, what? I'm sorry, but with the world we live in, I just don't believe in things like friends. If you were strong, I might be able to consider you some kind of ally. If you were strong, then at least you could help me out in some way. But you, well, you aren't very strong, are you? <laughs> Dunsparce. I... <laughs> Dunsparce? Ryzian, that was cold. What's wrong with you? You could have just accepted his gift, you know. Ah! Mulga's right, you know. Don't you think that was a bit much? The world's full of cheaters, thieves, and liars. There's nothing to believe in anymore. Someone who acts nice to you always has an ulterior motive. You can't just believe anyone who flatters you with pretty words. At least that part is true, but still. Making friends will just lead to heartache and disappointment. That's why I just don't have any. That... that's not... How could you feel any other way in this kind of world? You understand, don't you? No, he don't, because he actually has a friend. Me. <laughs> she turned him down! This verse is totally rejected! And everyone's cheering. Hey, you see that just now? Sure did. Looks like we found the latest victim. Wanna follow him? Let's do it. Those guys are just creepy looking. What? what What's wrong with you all? Why are you all celebrating? Well, the truth is we all, every last one of us here has been rejected by the lovely Verizon. What? All of you? Wait, everyone, really? Even the Signora? No way! Who wouldn't want to be friends with you, Swana? Ho, ho, ho. Well, Verizon is pretty set in her ways. But I had to try. Everyone wants to be Verizon's friend. Such a lovely girl. Sure. Friend. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> what? Trying to get the lovely Verazian to be a friend and get crushed in return. It's like a gauntlet we've all got to run. It's practically become a town tradition. When it comes right down to it, if we didn't laugh it off every time she turns one of us down, we'd be done for. <laughs> Everyone's crying now. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I love that they're including the town so much. The town part, I really like that. I guess this place will kind of be the guild to a degree, where we like meet him and talk to him a lot. I like that. <laughs> that goes against the sort of justice lore. Well, this is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe. <laughs> What's wrong with everyone? But I guess celebrating might be one good way to distract yourself from the pain. But I don't think Dunsparce is quite as thick-skinned as this lot. 
Neon, I think I really stuck my foot in it this time. Ah, uh, man, I just can't help worrying about Dunsparce. Let's go find him. These people are hilarious. I love this town. <laughs> that girl has been saying how, as how Verizon rejected their last Pokemon in town. But not I, nay! You'll not see a canny old hand like myself asking to be told. <laughs> well, it's important to be told no sometimes, too. Keeps me humble. Life is long and there's always plenty to learn. Oh, more important, I picked up the crystal that you left here. Do tell Tunsparce he can come and get it from me any time. At least she seems nice. The rejection? It was such a shock! Oh yes, I was utterly rejected! Oh, we can go up here! Interesting. <laughs> I like that it's just like set up like an actual inn. It's a, I like that. I'm liking this place! Bryzian sure is pretty, isn't she? I couldn't help being a bit awestruck. My mouth was hanging open. What? What do you mean? My mouth is always hanging open. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. How would you have your hand cut here? Let's see, is there anything worth buying in here? <laughs> but it won't if the Pokemon already knows the move. For some reason, that amuses me. Oh, yeah, we can go give a gold bar to the guy! Pythagrius! Fucker, he's gone! Damn it. Oh, yeah, because they did say he was just setting up his shop, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. I'm really liking the vibes of this. I guess we'll do this, uh, go after Dunsparce, and then I think we'll call it done. <laughs> Trade your platinum bar for ten gold bars. D&D &D joke. But what's that one ba ba ba? What's that one, like... Electrium. What if I want an Electrium bar? You don't have any notes. How dare you? What if I wanted a note? What if I wanted one to spawn in my hand that says that I'm a good person? You ever think about that, universe? Neon, let's search around town a bit more first. He might still be here somewhere. Oh, he's hiding? What? You want to know if I've seen some Pokemon? He's yellow and seems to bounce when he walks. No, certainly not. I'm afraid I haven't seen anything like that. Perhaps he did not come this way. Dunce, boss. I haven't seen him. Why? We've been playing here this whole time. But no one's come here by all day. What? Some Pokemon called Dunsparce? Nope. Okay, I don't think I've seen him. Swadloon looks adorable. It's like a small child swaddled in a coat. <laughs> Two Electrum bars equals one gold bar. Huh. Yo, Dunsparce, where are you? Ah, uh, Verizon. Yeah, I mean, I guess she's pretty enough, but who cares? I'm not interested in her. No, my eyes. My eyes can't see anything, but... <laughs> Sincero! Ah, uh, you guys are still here? Uh, that was embarrassing. I forgot to say anything about the shop still closed. The repairs from the ri when I wrecked it will be done pretty soon. Wait till then. So he's basically staring at her all this time. That's funny. 
I'm still not able to open this door. I'm so sorry. But I should be able to open the store again in a little while. Please wait until then. By the way, don't you think Verizon is so pretty? I want to be like her, too. She's so cool. Want to break everybody's heart? Service with a smile. A bastion of relaxation and consumption. I don't see Dunsparce anywhere. Ah, where could he have run off to? Ah, Quagsire! Something the matter, hmm? Quagsire, have you seen Dunsparce? Dunsparce? Oh, that Pokemon the two of you saved, hmm? If that's who you mean, I did see him a few minutes ago. What? Where? I passed by him right over there, hmm? He was, uh, with some strange Pokemon I'd never seen before. As I walked by, I heard the three of them talking together, hmm? You want to get strong, don't you? Just come with us. We'll make that wish come true. Really? Oh yeah, no problem. We've got a real simple way to get stronger. By the way, you do have Pokey, right? Yeah. Sweet. We're the Pawnyard Brothers. Good to know you. There's a place not too far from here called Desolate Canyon. Training there will make this a breeze. Let's roll. That's about what they said, hmm? Then the three of them went off somewhere together. <laughs> I once played a campaign where the dragon seduced the bard. Subverts expectations. Is that true? You sure? Hmm, is that surprising? A story? Hmm, that's curious, you know. Just before I ran into you, another Pokemon heard that story and reacted much the same. What? That was Mamolga. The second Amoga heard that story about Dunsparce, he, well, he seemed just as shocked as you two do right now. Then he turned pale and ran off somewhere in, uh, in a flash. Neon! Sounds like Dunsparce is in serious trouble. You're certain the place is called Desolate Canyon, right? Mm, that's what I recall hearing. Wait a moment, hmm? Do you think something happened, hmm? You did this! I'm pretty much sure of it. Tempted by those promises that he could get stronger. Dunsparce was lured away by some weird Pokemon. It's gotta be that. Amolga's probably afraid of that same thing. That's probably why he's hurrying to Desolate Canyon. Neon, let's go! To Desolate Canyon! Let's -a go! Where would you like to go? To Desolate Canyon. Ah, interesting. They actually give you information after you clear them. So that's actually cool. Also, I gotta say, this location map, beautiful. Utterly beautiful. I love it. Go to Desolate Canyon! Oh, it's the, it's the, the Chandelier Evolution Gotta kill, oh well. Oh, you're a fire type. You're gonna fuck me. At least I think you're a fire type. You have fire in you. Maybe you're just a ghost type. I don't know. You can now adjust a party member's tactics to decide how that party member will act. When you want to change a party, um, party member's tactics, open the status meeting and select tactics meeting. Not schmig. Oh, wait a minute. This is a very bad matchup for me on all sides! You've been trapped by swirling flames and are unable to walk. You can still use items and moves, though. The status will go away after a while. I'm being murdered. With the poison status effect, a Pokemon will gradually take damage and their HP won't recover any longer just by walking. Eat a heal seed to heal the status. It will also go away automatically if you move on to the next floor. I am suffering! But luckily I kept one heal seed. Note to self, fear that motherfucking Krogunk. Go back to the swamp shop that I never got my good items from, you bastard! You think that you can take me? You cannot take me, little Petalil. You are a motherfucker and you will die.
die already. No wonder you had to... Oh, wait, that makes me wonder. What's a Zinc Scarf, then? Oh, boost special defense. Then, honestly, a normal defense scarf would be good for the boy. Oh, this is some music. If it sees a foe, it takes a step forward. Hmm. I guess I'll keep Let's Go Together and I'll just try to get used to how they work. Although I, w I wonder what it means by like when it sees an enemy. What counts as seeing an enemy? What if they see a see an enemy? Will he jump into the water? Ah, shit, it's that motherfucker. I cringed! Keep blasting me all you want. I'll keep tackling you till you're dead. Your absorbing is very annoying. Actually, you know what? The... I think, uh... Follow me works better because then it'll stop trying to get in the way. That way I can have better control of luring enemies towards me. Or at least towards him. Ah, shit. It's you. Kind of interesting that we have super effective attacks against each other. You have fire, I have pursuit. We beat each other up till we both die. It's the nature of things. Why couldn't I play as a Litwick and become a Shandula, the sexiest Pokemon of them all? That's not very nice at all. Doo -doo. Again, I like that there are varying, like, room sizes. And, like, uh, like room shapes, I mean, rather. Compared to the previous games, where they're all boxes. It just is a visual treat for me. Oh, hey, another reunion cape. I just completely missed you. Either that, you spawned out of nowhere and this place is haunted. It is a mystery dungeon. Again, the music is just so vibin'. I can get used to this even if it's not like... Even if it's not like, uh, the sound font from the DS games, I can still appreciate this. How dare you smog me! How dare you astonish me! You cannot astonish me, I am too sexy for that. Another one! Damn it. And a level up. <laughs> do, 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 do. You just, I love this. Uh, so far, I'm loving this game. I will let sleeping Letwick lie. God damn it, one followed us home. Damn it! Quit fire spinning me! And now I'm level 12.
Ow, ow, ow! No enemy, just pain. Well, that's not very nice at all. Prepare to die. With the sleep status effect, the Pokemon will fall asleep and be unable to move. The status will go away after a while. What the fuck? So just hitting this guy can make us fall asleep? Also, I do like the sleeping, like, like, model animation. Is nice. Do, 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 do. Why is this place filled with Pokemon that can kick my ass? Well, then again, there none, none of them are Adinos, so I guess that's not very really true. There are no Adinos, so technically none of them can kick my ass. The final boss, it's an Odino. Horrify. I need to use the tactics better. Dang it. So really at this state, maybe I should just have my partners go run in and just need to, like, uh, be, a be aware of what is happening and remember to modify his tactics. What the f- Fuck, oh, you, I was wondering for a moment what you were. But you're like a little baby vulture in an egg. Sure felt like we were beating up a baby. <laughs> just looking at it from, because it was kind of cut off by the top screen, I'm just like, what the fuck are you? What freak of nature did you bring upon me? I do like that we actually have a dash animation. That's sweet, I like that. Well, he went to murder. And murder he did. God damn it. Jesus. Note to self, bite is scary. Oh, hey, you can cut around corners with that. Good. I need to use a max elixir. Yes, I know. I've played these games before. I know what Max Elixir does. Why do you think I brought two with me? I probably should have brought more. Ain't that just always how it is? Like, oh, I'll be fine. It is never fine. Get obliterated. It feels like the dungeons in Gates to Infinity are bigger than Rescue Team and Explorers, just on average. I just love how they've done it. They, they It really does feel so much more natural. Sure, of course, there's still corridors. But, like, the geometry and the, everything, I love it. I like it. I like it. It just really heightens the experience. Hello, Krogunk. Die. How dare you astonish me? I kid you back. Go home. Hello, whatever you're called. Volaby. What is that even the name of? Volaby. Vulture 
Lullaby? I love the channel because every once in a while, we just start talking about D&D. &D. Happens sometimes. Ah, great, it's you again. Not confuse, Ray! Oh, hey! Quality of life feature! We're able to, like, uh, swap places with our partner. Minimize all you want, pursuit! Damn it! Minimize all you want, pursuit! Smog all you want, pursuit! Damn it! Please die. Hit him. Hit him with a weapon. Gun. Use your gun. Damn you. You're an ugly little man. Loving the music, loving the vibes. Once again, so long as the story nails it, I will be happy. And I am a simple person to please. So long as everything done is fine enough, I be happy. <laughs> do the roar, do the gun. If you're Godzilla, it can be both. Somebody stole my motherfucking Max Elixir. You're not gonna have time to bide. You're just gonna have time to die. Well, fine, we'll go this way then. Ah, shit. Not the double team. Haha, <laughs> you missed locked. You weren't locked on. And now it is ours. What is this, a monster procession? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Astonish all you like. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to murder you. Be gone. Damn it. Just a monster procession up in here. whole train of chumps here to fight us. Now I'm imagining, like, an RPG, and every single time you get into a fight, a literal train just rolls by, drops off the goons, and drives away. You pissed off the train authority. Doo-doo. Return our stats to normal! Damn it, that's not what I meant. I'm a fool. <laughs> Everything the air touches is neons. Precisely. I am deserving of everything. And because I am so graceful, I allow you temporary ownership of some of my stuff. Although that does mean that I don't own space. But guns can help that. <laughs> Strap a few Trico to a plane. Now the bullet seeds shall kill everyone! And now, go on. Do do do. I probably should have bought a revive seed. Do 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 do. Because I mean, those two guys looked very sharp. They're probably gonna cut me. Um, Desolate Canyon, I think it is. Those jerks, like, are trying to take poor Dunsparce for a ride. So now we need to go save him and Amolga. 
I am being haunted by God. Help. Lock, kill the candle maker. Oh no, do you have no power points either, Lock? With burns. Attack is slightly lower too. Shit. Fucker. Ow. Lock, please get unconfused so I can take your place. Oh, because you're still stuck in the fire spin. You are a bitch and a half, you little whore. But I'm not going to give the max elixir because I think we're almost going to be out of here. Ah, oh, there we go. Son of a bitch. Confusion is annoying. I hate confusion. I hate that this guy isn't dead yet. Die. Finally. Bastard. Definitely gonna change your tactics to follow me. You fucker. And we got him at another max elixir at the very least. At least burn isn't like poison. Yes, let's go. I mean... Oh, we have more Max Elixir than I thought. And here. Actually be able to do things. And a level up for your troubles, dear Locke. Alright, I need to be careful. He can learn a fucking move now. Dual Trap. It damages an enemy twice in a row. It's physical. It's dragon. Forget focus energy this time. Yes. It's probably not good, but we're actually going to use it. It's an actual attack. Although, let me see. Is it still... Well, we have to go to moves. Yep, dual trap is activated. Just wanted to make sure. Tail whip me all or yeah, yeah. For some reason, my brain is just like having trouble reading the message logs. It goes by too fast. And now I grew in level, and now I can learn a move. Growth. Boost your attack and special attack. The effect goes up when it's sunny. Info. So I need to be careful of wonder tiles if I do go for this. Hmm. Honestly, I think it's better than Leer because I can do it outside of combat. And again, we should have a... like, job... or like a shop... That allows me to remember lost moves, eventually. <laughs> Just have to be careful of Wonder Tiles. Of course you get a critical hit, you bastard. Die! Die! Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, 
Talk about terrible twos. Get dual chopped and murdered! Hell yeah! These look like towers more than cliffs. One second. Need to hydrate. Huh? What's the problem? I think... I think I'd better go home after all. Go home? Why? I was really upset back in town. When I heard what you two were saying, I thought, I want to be strong right away. And that's why I came this far, but... But I'm not sure just getting stronger is what I really want. And besides, when I really think about it, no one can become strong just like that, right? So I... I I'm going home. Goodbye. Stop right there, runt! <laughs> <laughs> so you figured it out, clever little runt. But you don't think... But don't you think it's a bit too late for that? That's right. It's just like you said, there's no simple way to get strong. <laughs> what we're after is pokey. So out with it. Hand over the cash and all your stuff, too. If you hand it all over without a fight, we'll let you off easy this time. Ugh. Don't you touch Dunsparce! Moog! Freeze, you two! Don't move a muscle! Dunsparce is my best friend, you hear? <laughs> Friends, huh? I don't care either way, but you planning to fight us? You think you can win? Against us? Hey, sounds good to me. We'll just take this guy's stuff, too. Hey, Dunsparce! He's here! Look! Neon! Thank goodness! Looks like we're still in time! Dunsparce, I'm sorry about what happened in town, I... Look! Ha, huh, how about it, bullies? What you gonna do now? Your chances don't look so good, do they? <laughs> so, Amoga, whatever your name is, you've got us surrounded, huh? You think this is a battle that'll just come down just by sheer numbers, do you? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> if that's true, then, how about this? It's your turn, lads! Aye, aye! What? Whoa! So, Amoga. Now it's your chances to don't look so good, yeah? <laughs> the side with bigger numbers wins, isn't it? That's what you thought. <laughs> Ugh. Imoga, everybody, I'm going to fight. You don't need to protect me. I'll fight and I won't be afraid, I promise. So you should all. Dunsparce. There's a spirit, Dunsparce. Dunsparce, well said. Dear me. You seem to be completely surrounded now, don't you? Well then, I guess it's about time to wrap things up here. Come on, lads! All together now! Yeah! Hold it right there. Well, who's there? Who are you? Verizian! You... Ponyard, you told Amoga and these other Pokemon that they were surrounded, didn't you? And yet, who's surrounded now? Skirter! And Timber! Hey, Ponyard brothers! Lock and Neon are my precious customers, you hear? If anything happens to our customers, you won't be getting off easy! Taking advantage of the weakness in Dunsparce's heart with this dirty plot. You two really are pathetic, aren't you? Ugh! Luck will lose to you, fools! Watch out, everyone! Here they come! Let's get them, lads! Whoa! Well, luckily, I have just the thing for it. Foe hold! And you know what? Let's double down. All dodge!
Geschmeckt. Let's see, your bug, I don't really think I have much for bug. Luckily, the ones farthest out won't have too much done to them. Let's save Dunsparce! Let's smack this guy. I do like that none of the allies are aimlessly attacking the petrified. It's very nice. Booyah! Victory for everybody! Except those guys. Let's get out of here! Way too spineless little! We... We're coming too! We... We beat him! We really chased away the bad guys! We did it! And for some reason, Brizian isn't ha happy. Or isn't dancing. But, how did you all end up here? Our lovely Verizian told us. She said Dunsboss was in trouble. Verizian did? Well, I did see you. I happened to see you talking with Quagsire. I didn't hear everything, but it was enough to put the pieces together. So that's what happened. It's... it's finally over. Dunsparce, you okay? Yeah, I guess I got rescued again, huh? But I was actually gullible enough to believe I could be strong just like that. It was all because of me that you all... I really am useless, aren't I? That's not true. You realized it before it went too far, didn't you? That's not that easy to get strong. If you hadn't, we would have been way worse off. We might have had to fight those bullies on their own turf instead of here in the open. I'm glad they didn't take you all the way to their hideout. And besides, you fought bravely to the end without giving in to fear, right? You did good, Dunsparce. I everyone think you grave it your all. Imolga. I have to apologize. It was my fault that you felt like you had to get stronger. I'm sorry about that, but... Bad Pokemon are always looking to take advantage of gullible Pokemon like you. You trust others way too easily. You can't live like that these days, you know? You can't just can't trust other Pokemon not in the world we live in now. I wonder if you're right about that. It's true that you probably shouldn't just trust anyone you meet right away, but... But... Is trusting one another really such a terrible thing? Is it so wrong to believe in someone? I know there are a lot of dishonest Pokemon out there these days, but if you don't take that first step, then no one else is ever going to open up and trust you either, are they? You were right when you said that Dunsparce isn't strong. He's not. But at least he can trust. That trust will make us a real force to be reckoned with. I think. I think that trusting one another shows real strength. I think it's the realest strength we have. <laughs> the power of friendship. The, it is the real power of all. Locke. That's why I have to ask. Dunsparce and you too, Amolga. Oh! This is a motif from the opening. And you too, Amolga. Why don't you two come be part of our paradise? Well, you want us? I do. We're gonna make a Pokemon paradise, you see. A Pokemon paradise? We're gonna go on all kinds of adventures and find lots of treasures. We'll find enjoy every day full of excitement and fun together. My dream is to make a real paradise. Well... I'm gonna need good friends to help me along the way. No, I'm going to need great friends, just like you two. Don't you agree, Neon? Of course. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not... We're sure. Then I... I definitely want to join you. I... well, I don't really mind if that's what Dunsparts wants to do. I guess Dun I guess Amolga doesn't have his heart in it. All right! Thanks, you two! We did it, Neon! We're finally on our way! To making our paradise. Neon, look. I'm going to do my best. 
Let's make a real paradise together. Guess I don't have much of a choice then. <laughs> I'll give it my all too. Let's do this. Uh, do you mind if I interrupt? I have a request for you all. Will you, will you let me join your paradise as well? What? The lovely Verizon is trying to join Neon and Locke? You, what do you think you're trying to pull now, huh? What happened to all your big talk about not making friends, not trusting anyone? You just say whatever comes into your head, don't you? You're messing with us. If you're just toying with us, then we don't need you in our paradise. Toying with you? Yes, I can see how you would think that. I won't make any excuse for my behavior, but even saying that, is there no way you can let me be part of your paradise? I... I do not approve! No way! Come on, Locke. Tell her to hit the road! Okay, you can be a para part of the paradise, too. What?! Why should I have to be friends with someone like her? I'll never accept you, you hear that? Right, Dunsparce? You've got to feel the same, don't you? I... I... Oh. What? But if you're going to be one of us, then that means you'll have to trust us. You'll have to believe in all of us. Can you do that? <laughs> I guess I'll just have to try. And I guess it's decided. As of today, Vrezian is also one of us. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not okay with this lock, seriously, not okay, just so you know. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Why would you even want someone like that in your paradise? Sorry. It was the first time that someone actually asked to join. I got so excited that I honestly didn't even think before saying yes. What? What kind of reason is that? Well, it looks like I've caused a bit of a fight, but I'm looking forward to working together with you all. I guess I'll be heading back first, then. Girder? Yes, my lovely Verazian. What you said, back there. It turns out that when Verizian went to Girder and asked for his help to save Dunsparce... What? Dunsparces? Got it! Then I'm going too! Boss, we'll go with you! What a fool. This only happened because he believes in any old Pokemon he meets. They should be headed for Desolate Canyon. Come at once, would you? Hold on! You know, my lovely Verizian, you may act like you don't trust anyone or anything in this rotten world, but Neon and Locke alone are... Well, don't you underestimate them. I used to be the same as you once. I didn't have any faith left in the world. But unlike you, my lovely, I... I crossed the line and did bad things to other Pokémon. Until quite recently, in fact. But... Meeting Neon and Locke... It changed the way I thought about things. Every time I see those two, I think... This world... Isn't worth giving up on yet. So far, I'm really liking this. <laughs> we have a legendary this early? Maybe. I think... I might understand now what you were trying to tell me. <clears throat> Did I say something like that? <laughs> no need to act so bashful. Oh, never mind. But... I had been thinking it was about time to leave Post Town. Perhaps sticking around isn't a bad idea either, though. If I stay here, I feel like I might finally find it. That one precious thing I've been searching for. <laughs> Snuggle Verizian, you're both grass types after all. We're gonna need a bigger house. <laughs> the next morning but since we saved and we did a lot i do believe that it is we'll leave it off there we've done a lot and i'm really liking it it does feel like we're going quite fast story wise which in a way i kind of like but it does kind of make me worry that we're gonna just blitz through the story and it's not gonna be that long of a game in fact while we're here I'll look up uh, how long to beat Gates to Infinity out of curiosity. Just because. But I'm really liking this. This game. It's very fun. It's very, very fun. 
<laughs> so everyone on Monday at 5? Yep, because I'm trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So next time we will be continuing with more Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity on Monday. And it seems that the main story takes 23 hours, with main plus sides being 32 and a half. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Now I'm actually curious how long, uh, Explores of Sky is. <laughs> Lucky I get off at four. <laughs> Timing. Let's see. Huh. Interesting. Explorers of Sky's main story is about the same, 23 and a half hours, but the main plus sides is 51 hours. So it seems like the main chunk of Gates to Infinity is about the same, but it has less extra content, which I guess isn't terrible for me. I wasn't much of a completionist for these kinds of games anyway. Uh, sorry, Twitch chat, you got here right as we were about to wrap up. But that shall be it for now. Like I said, this game, I am loving it. This is great. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the, the story could have, like, uh, like, I don't know. The pacing, like I said, feels like it's going very fast. I hope that it's not too fast and we get some time to stew with the characters, get to know them, talk to them a bit more. But I'm liking it so far. I'm really liking it. So far, the characters are varied and interesting. And actually, I just realized there isn't any episodes, I don't think. It isn't like episode title, like in Gates, uh, like in Explorers of Sky. Huh. I'm trying to, huh. That's actually kind of interesting that I haven't noticed that. But so far, I am liking the vibes of this. I am adoring this. I still think Explorers of Sky is still holding out in terms of, like, atmosphere and character and story. But I am really enjoying this, and I cannot wait to see where else we will go. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, with direct links found uh, in all the various places, bios, descriptions, and the like. Through the link tree, you can find my everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel. I still want to make some. It is just very hard. I need to write the script, and then I need to voice it, and then I need to edit it. It's a lot. But edited content YouTube channels in there, as well as my Twitch channel for streaming and YouTube streaming, as well as... On that streaming YouTube channel, where all these here streams end up as videos to watch if you so choose to revisit the past or to catch up on adventures you may have missed. So if you want to watch my Blue Rescue Team or Explorers of Sky playthroughs, they're down there. As well as a bunch of others, Mass Effect Trilogy and stuff. Other such things in my link tree are links to my art. Like, oh, I guess since we're rounding out, why don't I show you all the unblurred ver like the unsilhouetted version of the good old team the unsilhouetted actually we haven't named our team either huh i've just realized there's a lot of things that we haven't done yet and that's interesting i'm liking it though i'm really enjoying this yeah, I'm just adoring this game. It's very, very cool. So, yeah. But, yeah. Art links to all the sites that I post art to can be found through my link tree. And even stories that I'm writing. I finished chapter four of my 11-chapter Pokemon Mystery Dungeon short -er story. So I'm hoping to get that on going. And I also made, like, 400 words chapter progress in the fifth chapter, so I hope to finish it up sometime soon. I'm trying... I'm setting alarms now to remind myself, like, hey, do things, please, to kind of break myself out of procrastination, choice paralysis, and other such things and distractions. But, yeah. 
And the final thing in my link tree should be my Patreon. So if people are so kind, they can throw some dollary dues my way to help me survive ever so slightly more the evils of the world. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Thank you, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>